Hello, everybody, and welcome to Drawn and Quartered Fan Edition. Uh, we got a really cool show here for you. As usual, the Drawn and Quartered Fan uh, and the Drawn and Quartered Fan Edition are a lot of fun. We get to see great artists doing great art. And today we're going to be doing what? What booster? What are we doing today? Zoro, man. We're, we're doing Zoro, man. We're doing Zorro. Now, we know the Pro Edition uh, did Red Sonia yesterday, and there were some really good pieces that came out of there, so congratulations to them. And, of course, congratulations to Vince Rush Art, uh, the fan winner from uh, the week before, and he went over and did a really good job, <laughs> represented us uh, fairly, and uh, we're very appreciative of that. The, I really liked this piece. Did you like it, Booster? It was okay. It was yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was okay. It was all right. Yeah. It's all right. Busa doesn't like to give credit to anybody. He's very selfish, uh, but that's all right. We yeah, love him anyway. Yeah. yeah. Well, someone uh, has to love me. Yeah, someone has to. That's true. But, but yes, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, see. here we go. He finished it. That's true. Uh, oh, goodness. There's a crack to Todd, and he's nowhere nearby. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, you guys, we are. We're doing Zorro. And uh, Zorro is a cool character from the past, of course. Um, and we don't uh, – well, sometimes if there's an iconic character, we definitely will copy what the pros are doing. But in general, we want to stick to their theme and do something different. I mean, come on. We don't want to go on uh, yesterday and see Red Sonia and then come here today and see Red Sonia too, right? Uh, we want to see something different, but we stuck to their uh, their straw poll, which had classic heroes. And Zoro has been chosen. So, yes, and I, Model 3 says the gay blade? Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> I mean, if you want to. If you want to, why not? Uh, but uh, Bethany's in here. How you doing, Bethany? Yeah, we're seeing a bunch of people come in. Just keep in mind, guys, uh, uh, down there... Um, uh, of course, we have all the links and stuff, but uh, 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 what you want to do is go to that share button and share it out to your friend, uh, family and your friends and your extended community and let them know what's getting uh, going on so we can have more and more people over here, especially to get in on that big vote at the end and see who wins and gets to go to the Pro Edition. Because here, unlike the Pro Edition, we have an actual prize, huh, Booster? What is that prize? Uh, that prize is a one-day special treat, a sexual date with Booster himself. Wow. No, no, no. That's not true. A one-in-a-lifetime <laughs> opportunity. You might even he's, get a big smooch. He's lying. Stay what? away from the oiled kiwi. Uh, oh. No, actually, uh, what the, you get is you get to go on the Pro Edition and knock heads against some pretty amazing artists and uh, also, of course, to get the exposure and have a lot more people get and see what you can do. So it's a wonderful opportunity. But uh, we're definitely going to be getting into that here in a few minutes. We usually start about 10 minutes after the hour uh, so we can get a bigger crowd in here. So while we are waiting for that, let's come over and say hello to who is joining us today. Well, First, we have Trusty Sidekick. Uh, how are you doing, Trusty? I'm doing good, Chester. How are you? I'm doing great. And it uh, uh, seems going with the theme of yesterday. I guess you're going to be our caveman for today. <laughs> <laughs> As he yeah, hides. I missed arm. that part. <laughs> <laughs> Hide my shame. Hide my shame. So, what do you think? We're doing Zoro, dude. Are you excited for it? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've loved Zoro ever since I was a kid. Um, the old Disney um, series, you know, oh, and um, the Antonio Banderas movie, also great. So, yeah, I'm well, looking forward to it. Well, mentioning the Antonio Banderas, I don't know if it was the first or the second one, but uh, it had, uh, what was that really beautiful lady? Uh, Kathra, Catherine Zeta-Jones, yeah. I think her name is. Yes. Um, well, Zeta-Jones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, she's standing in one scene in that movie where uh, the sun is coming through and she's in this uh, beautiful old, uh, you know, uh, Hispanic dress. And uh, uh, that for me is one of the two most beautiful female moments on cinema for me. Uh, and that's from a Zorro movie. So interesting. All right. Yeah. Well, can, good. can we draw her instead? That would be better. <laughs> True. But I think. G uh, gender Bender would... Zorro? <laughs> no, no. Someone kick Rick, please. I actually agree. We should do Catherine Zeta Jones as Zorro. <laughs> <sighs> Catherine Zeta Jones, man. Hello, what Rick. Are you? How you doing? Come on, just what are you, Pendejo? Uh, yes, I am. Thank you. Uh, how you doing, McCrank? Uh, do you know who Zorro is? Uh, yeah, I used to watch that old TV show. Oh, well, awesome. From the, the 90s, I think. Yeah, I, I used to watch that a lot. I like Zorro. Cool. All right. Zorro. So they have Zorro over. You're in Norway, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. I didn't know he was so international. I mean, some of these characters certainly are international. I didn't know Zorro was. That's cool. Yeah, he was. I think he was pretty popular, I think. 
Well, he's an old character. Uh, that's for sure. There were a ton of movies and a ton of old TV black and white uh, stuff. So yeah, Zora, and Zora's kind of cool. Uh, so all right, man. Well, good luck to you. Let's uh, see what you're doing. And of course, uh, you guys can interpret Zoro as you like always. And of course, uh, we're over here with Jiminy Cricket as well. Now, Jiminy uh, did an absolutely killer uh, Black Manta last time. I really love that piece you did, dude. You're just brutalizing Mira, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> what like do you think? It was awesome, though. It, it, so, it was just general persuasion on his part. Uh, so, what do you think about this Zoro choice, dude? I like Zoro. He's awesome. Um, I love the old series with a uh, guy, whatever his name is, the father from uh, Lost in Space. Mm-hmm. I wasn't crazy about the uh, the '90s series because he was so tall. It was like, I wonder who Zoro is. He must be. He can't be that six foot six guy who's the only tall person in town. Um, but I love the uh, I love the Anto- Antonio Banderas series as well. So that great was character. good. It is cool. Yes. And are you going to be doing straight Zoro or? Gay Zoro. Um, probably it'll probably be straight Zoro. I'm guessing. I, I I'm not I'm not gonna ask my drawing what is what is uh, sexual preferences. Well, that's good. Good for you there. Good for you. Yeah. All right, dude. That would be rude. It would be. It would be. Uh, come on over here to Elric. Elric is joining us again. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm doing yeah. good. How's everybody? Yeah. Uh, I think we're all doing great. And what do you think about the Zoro we're doing today, dude? Actually, quite happy. Um, I did watch Mask of Zorro, and I believe uh, Antonio Banderas did do one other Zorro movie, right? Two, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I do remember that. Remember watching that, and I was oh, looking up references before we started. Oh, that's interesting. So a lot of people are really referencing the Antonio Banderas movie, which I thought was all right. But uh, for me, my memory is the old black and white Zorro stuff. But uh, that's cool. Either way, I think uh, Banderas did a good job with it. All right, man. You well, did. good luck to you. All right. Thank you very much. I right, well, you're welcome. And right, come over here to Cross Comics. Uh, so, Rick, are you going to behave yourself today? Me? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Hey, I always behave. It's just a question of whether it's good or bad. That <laughs> <laughs> This is true, but I, I, I do hope that Booster keeps an eye on you in the right way, Booster. None of that oiled <laughs> stuff. What? How do you have oiled eyes? That's You're weird, <laughs> Chester. That's coming from me. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, what do you think about Zoro here, Rick? Oh, I like Zoro. I think he's one of the first heroes that I ever knew of. Oh, Even sorry. before, like, Superman, Batman. I could be wrong. I could have known about them first. It's muddy after, you know, 40 years. No, Zoro is Zorro, certainly a good hero. Um, and uh, there's a lot of good stories come out of it. So, uh, yeah, good luck to you, dude. Uh, see what kind of Zoro you put out there. And uh, I'm worried, but... Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. moving moving down the road here. Uh, over here is Bill, of course, uh, Argo's creation. Now, uh, uh, Bill, are you ready for Zorro? What do you think about it? You, you got a good idea? Yeah, I got a great idea. This is a uh, a good character. It actually it's kind of cool. We're doing Zorro tonight. This is he was created in 1919, so 100th oh, anniversary. Wow, wow, yeah. that's a really old character. Oh See, that's Go why I picked you, just old dude. Show. Yeah, I didn't hear any of that life. because you're all roboting. So oh, stop it. Uh, but yeah, good luck to you, dude. Bill. Uh, and over to our last artist, uh, we have Adrian. Uh, now, Adrian, are you ready for Zorro? You got a good idea for it? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really confident, there, Adrian. The enthusiasm. You guys threw me off. You guys threw me off. Well, I think uh, somebody's going to be easy to beat tonight. Nah, don't don't get your confidence that high. Up there. Oh, no. <laughs> challenges, That's challenges, That's and we do idea. we do definitely encourage cross talking and uh, telling uh, each other that we are horrible and saying nasty things to each other. Just keep in mind this is PG thirteen, uh, so we don't want to go too far. And uh, Booster only gets a single f bomb, just one. Be good. Oh fuck that. <laughs> God. And there he goes. Got, the he got it out trail. early, guys. He got it out early. All right, here we go. All right, here we got to start. You guys ready? No. Yeah. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. 
start drawing and uh, get those pencils. Right. Of course, a lot of you guys like to use your erasers too, which I've always thought was funny, but this seems to be a tool booster. An eraser is an actual tool for an artist. That's kind of interesting, You're I think. Seeing as for an artist. I am, I am, actually. This is true. I don't draw, I can't even draw stick people properly. They kind of look crooked. Mm -hmm. It's really bad. I'm embarrassed. Uh, oh, yeah, boosters looked pretty crooked at one time too. Oh, oh okay. I, I have my I have my moments where I do okay. It's kind of it's always weird when it happens. So it's like always a freaking anomaly. It's like holy crap, booster that that looks okay. <laughs> well, let's come over here to chat while these guys are getting started and uh, and uh, see what you guys are talking about. We have uh, Pablo Romero Art is saying, "En su corcero." Cuando sale la luna, aparece el bravo zoro. Al hombro del mar es sabra. Castigar marcando la zeta del zoro. So tell me how absolutely horrible I just to pronounce that, please. I know it was awful. Yeah, I think you just made Very a poor boy cringe you and took butchered that. Yeah, I did butcher that. I, I probably said something very, very nasty in the, in Portuguese. I'm pretty sure, uh, but uh, uh, not Joshua Hughes, which of course, as we know, is Joshua Hughes. Says Chester remembers when Zora was created. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's just mean. Yeah, it is that mean. Musky Elon is here, new face. Uh, he says, hi, folks. Well, how are you doing, Musky? Nice to see you, dude. Uh, we got uh, Manny from Good Dog Press in here, and uh, welcome. We got Model 3 as well. Nice to see you, dude. Uh, and he says, Rick is going to sweep this thing. He might. You never know. He had an absolutely killer Batman back when we did that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he did a good job. He did. Uh, they mm -hmm. still play Zoro on TV here. Oh, that's cool, dude. You know, Zoro is... Uh, that's interesting. Is, uh, yeah. Well, Pablo is in Argentina, so... Um, Okay, and cool. he's been on the show and an absolutely amazing uh, artist. Um, mm. And we have uh, Musky Ellen says, Chester, are you in radio? Well, I am here because basically YouTube is radio. That um, doesn't count, Chester, and you know it. I know, I do. Don't apologize. mislead this poor man. Well, uh, Nighthawk Walker, Warrior says, everyone go watch Gary Shipman as well. No. Thanks, Nighthawk. No, Helpful. Don't watch yeah. him. Sure. Get him out of don't here. Him. Him. Don't watch us. No. Just, that was Gary Shipman. Gracious Nighthawk Warrior. What the uh, hell? Although we do love Gary Shipman. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but we don't like when he steals our bloody views. Well, this is true. This is true. Okay. <laughs> but um, um, <laughs> we have Oscar Theer, uh, uh Tosspot in here. Nice to see you, dude. We got JP4, of course. Will you, Willie Reed, the Willie Mammoth, is Zorro Canadian? I don't think so. Uh, Argos Creations no, I Bill he here is so. saying Zera. What? Oh no! Uh, John Diller, Game of the System says Bill is a shoe in. He practically is sorrow. <laughs> Why? Why? Uh, they have a mask. Oh, a I see. I see. And a hat. Do you know how to use that thing? Of course, hey, it did. One hand goes into the other man. I've got masks and hat too that can be resemble Zoros. I got the whip too. The whip. Oh, I don't need to know oh, about oil. Oh, I, I, you know, I don't even know want to. I don't want to know why you have the whip. Whip. Costume, you know, for a costume. Oh, yeah, yeah, costume. Uh, yeah, JP4 just is, for the costume. Uh, JP four seems to think I have a. I have the body for radio. Well, thanks, JP. <laughs> oh, I didn't oh, know that's radio. That's the back end of the <laughs> Well, I don't know that I'm. Uh, I, I certainly have myself a little bit of a punch, but uh, I'm not that big, dude. <laughs> but uh, Model Three seems to think that's how Rick's mom gets him <clears throat> off the internet. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure. <laughs> hey. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Let's not. Hey, is this going to be another uh, Duck to Naples stream? What is what is this? No, I no. We okay, shall not have just... any Doug to Napoling, dirty Doug. Goodness okay. gracious. I can't believe Mike let him get away with that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <On the laughs> stream. Yeah, I know. And then, the and then uh, uh, Ellis Goodman's comment made it worse. Much worse. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Uh, 
uh, PS Melter has joined us as well. Hey, we got a lot of people in here. Just guys, just keep in mind yeah. that going down and hitting that subscribe button uh, yeah. is always always uh, appreciated. But really, 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 what we need you to do is hit that share button. Actually, mm -hmm. um, the share button is what gets a lot of people in here, so we can have more people enjoying this great art that's going to be going on, and also to be a part uh, part of the voting and such. Uh, that's and really some what okay we need to do. And some okay art. Of course, Booster mm -hmm. will be drawing as well. He's just reminding mm -hmm. you of that. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, Oscar Fear Spot says, no survive. yellow Zoros, please. I agree, dude. Yellow Zoros? Yes, please, no yellow Zoros. Yeah. I, what does that yellow mean? Yellow don't, if you don't want to know, don't ask, bro. Yeah, don't ask. Well, me. I'm Googling it now. <sighs> no, no, you don't have to Google yellow. it. Just... There can't be yellow Zoros. We can't use color. This is true. <laughs> Rick is correct. Rick is correct. Will, will it, Bill unless win you're like referring, tomorrow? unless of course you're referring to, they're referring to making him Asian. Uh, oh, here no. we go. Oh, God. Rick, no. I, I, Rick, <laughs> I, none of your racism today, Rick. Yeah, this racism is not okay, man. Yes. Hmm. We do apologize for uh, Rick. Any of the opinions of Rick uh, are not supported by the management. Just keep that in his mind. Name, his name would be Zorro. Hey, I'm not the one that said about making him yellow. Somebody uh, that else is, did. <laughs> that is Ooh, not at all what they're talking about. Goodness gracious. And uh, Pablo Romero, tell me exactly how badly did I butcher your language? I do apologize. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a Portuguese speaker. I can read it though, and I understand that you really like the Zorro, so that's cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I'm kind of curious to see what kind of different uh, approaches and models of Zorro there will be, because there are actually many options to choose from. You know, Booster. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, you, Zorro. you are drawing Zorro now. I don't know if I want to watch though, because that looks like you're drawing uh, Black Manta from the last one. What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> No idea what you're talking about. Oh, I see. He, he's got a fancy hat on. Yeah, yeah, that's not really Zorro. He didn't have a plumed hat like that, dude. Didn't do oh, don't 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 ruin it, Chester. Let him draw. Close enough. Okay, okay. Close enough. Let him. Oh, that's just what it means. Oh. He can draw just as long as he doesn't put his name on the a, a straw pole. Oh, it'd be a real shame if my name found its way onto the straw pole, regardless, Rick. And your name just suddenly magically didn't make it to it. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd have to call default. Prom promises, promises, <laughs> Booster. Promises, promises. And of course, guys, keep keep in mind that, of course, uh, Booster is going to be drawing here on the MS Paint, as he usually does with his wonderful stick figures. Uh, but uh, he's actually getting a little bit better. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> also, yeah, he will like, be creating our Star Pearl. And, and, and Booster now. My, my kid Flash. I did see your kid flash. I thought it was pretty good. I was It was not actually kidding. surprisingly good. It like was. <laughs> it, it was weird. I don't think I'm ever gonna get make something that good ever again though, but I will keep trying. Possibly not. I, I think you had a moment of inspiration. An epiphany even maybe hit you. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, have at it. But, uh, of course, Booster is going to create that straw poll, and I do hope that this time, Booster actually tries to make the straw poll entertaining instead of just putting people's names down. Oh yeah. my god, aren't I entertaining enough for you, Chester? <sighs> what am no, I paying I you for? Put my all into this. You only pay me in like little good jobs and pets on the heads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That should be enough. Because I just really need like a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am the papa son, you know. My dad um, left me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? what more do you need to be paid there, Booster? You're living in nowhere land. Down there in uh, New Zealand, is it? Oh, here we go. More of Rick's racism. Oh, yeah. Goodness gracious. I, I'm, um, he's just so intolerant of our culture, really. He is. He's intolerant <laughs> of immigration in general. He, Rick's very much against that. Uh, he, but, um, in, he lives in Canadian, Middle Earth. Rick. He lives in Middle Earth. He does. Yes, he does. He does it there. Of course, uh, as you guys know, Booster is our most favorite balding hobbit. Uh, he lives in the Shire. So, so is that you know. short? Yeah, he yeah. is. Yeah, he is. Yeah. yeah, I'm just. I'm like disappointed. I'm disgusted when we short. It's depressing. I'm not gonna lie. It is, but unfortunately, he is a bit of a deformed hobbit because uh, he has very <laughs> tiny feet. Mm. Oh, it's, you know, he's he doesn't like the so he has no hairy feet. I told you that in confidence, Chester. <laughs> 
I do apologize. I'm sorry. It's very but, uh, shameful for a hobbit to not have hairy feet. Yeah. Just say, oh, no, no, they're, him... they're extra hairy. They're just small. That oh. would get him exiled from the Shire, right? It might. It might. It's a possibility. They don't really like the odd folk. This is true. But it certainly grows. It, it draws the ire of the female hobbits, that's for sure. Uh, mm. But <laughs> Pablo Romero says, uh, that was the Spanish song of the Zorro TV show. Oh, that's cool, dude. Um, I uh, know that it was uh, uh, it, it was very positive of them, so that's cool. I didn't know that. I'd love to see you sing it. You should come on here and sing the song. That would be fun. Uh, John Diller says, Bill cuts a dashing figure with a uh, what a scamp. That road can darken my doorway anytime. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> well, you do realize that this year that John uh, John's resolution, his New Year resolution, of course, was to be a nice guy. Uh, I don't. I don't think he's going to su succeed. But you know, here's wishing you luck. <laughs> he'll, he'll See, I think trumpet. he's already failed. I, I I believe so. Yes. I wonder if it's like Bizarro Dillard, and he's really saying the opposite of what he's typing. Um, That's me. That's just me. John. It is, of course. A little tap on the touche is xenophobic, Rick. Yeah, I know, dude. What do you want? Uh, <laughs> uh, coming down here, uh, sh the, and short arms. Yes, well, we know uh, Booster's characters tend to have short arms. I don't know if mm. he's projecting here or not, but it is what it is. Look, it's pal uh, fantasy. Okay, let me have this. Okay, all right, <laughs> fine, fine. Um, <laughs> um, uh, Eric says that my cousin is a missionary and lives in New Zealand. She says it's very nice there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we, we don't say nice things to Booster. That's beyond the point. He is their punching bag, so please don't take away our fun. Thank you. Uh, Mrs. Game the System says, me and Emma will be all right busted busta. Well, thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, Manny here uh, doesn't have anything interesting to say, but, you know, that is what it is. Mm. Well, that's Manny for you. Never anything interesting to say. I oh. think Manny's handsome. How do you? He is a handsome man. Uh, he's a very nice man, too. We do love Manny from uh, uh, Good Dog Press. Uh, of course, uh, Manny is part of the yes. pro big project that several of us are involved with, the Tales from Beyond the Gate. So that's going to be really cool. And we're going to be pushing that. Manny says, I am biased. And, of course, I am biased. You better believe it. I am oh, biased yeah. about all the right things. Literally so never been denied. No, I've never denied it. Yes. Why people keep uh, saying that as if it's a come, some kind of revelation. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It is what it is. Well, let's come over here and talk to our artists a little bit. Uh, they're starting to get some stuff down, so let's come over here to Trusty. So now, uh, Trusty Psychic, uh, we've uh, had you on here before. I think this is your second time, right? No, I've never been on here before, Chester. Oh, then we, you and I must have met somewhere else, because I've certainly talked to you before, I think. Yeah, um, you did a giveaway for uh, the oh, Spider-Man Craven's Last Hunt, oh, and yeah. I happened to win that. And uh, also, uh, I had wanted to come on for the past couple of months, but we've had some um, family crises that have uh, kept me from you know being able mm -hmm. to do this. Oh, mm -hmm. you're a trusty psychic. Yeah, he's yeah. trusty psychic. Yeah. Oh, hey, right. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, no, okay. Last hunt that is cool. Yeah, we gave away that Craven's Last Hunt. Uh, well, that's cool, dude. I'm very happy to see you here finally since you are a new guest, which is my bad. Uh, so tell us, um, uh, we always ask this question, uh, what brought you to the Drone and Quarter show? How did you hear about it? How did you get involved, man? Um, well, um, pretty much the way anybody else did, you know, started watching uh, the Pro Edition. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you know, heard about the Fan Edition and, uh, you know, <laughs> I think you guys have more fun. Oh well, yeah, obviously. well we do. We and do. Uh, you know, I've started. Um, <laughs> you know, I started watching all your streams. You know, getting on with uh, with Rick. Um, you know, watching your um, your comic news today, um, Manny, uh, John Dillard, and um, you know, E Ortiz. So you know, I'm starting to feel like part of the group. 
Oh, that's cool. cool. Dude. No, we're really happy to right. have you here, of course. And uh, uh, as a good example of this, guys, if you're over there in the chat and watching this and you want to be on this show and show everybody your art skill and take that chance to, to win and get over there in the Pro Edition, all you have to do is go to links down below. Where you see uh, my links for Twitter and Facebook and just go on there and say, Chester, I want to be on the Fan Edition, and I will get it done, dude. Uh, easy, easy, easy. And uh, don't be uh, worried or afraid about it. Come over here and try, man. Um, and, and unless you have, you know, unless you like booster, we don't need that. We don't need. We don't need another one. I'm already. No. That was source already taken by me. I'm all Finish the booster it. anyone can handle. This whole show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't mm -hmm. need another MS MS paint artist. Well, you can. You're gonna find one better than me. I don't think so. No, I think that's right. You have, you have anybody, anybody with don't... a graphics tablet. tablet. Mm. Yeah, but see, the mm -hmm. thing is, I don't think anybody was actually would take the uh, would waste their time enough to master MS Paint at the level you have. So. <laughs> Goodness How gracious! Uh, but definitely welcome to you, Trusted Psychic. Nice to have you here, man, and uh, good luck. Uh, definitely make sure you beat Booster because you don't. Yeah, de definitely do that. You, you don't want to um, lose the Booster. That's just embarrassing. No, yeah. no, no. Trust me, it's embarrassing. I'm doing my best. Um, now we got Willie Reed over here is uh, making comments and saying how much he loves Skunk Girl. Now I don't know also why Willie Reed isn't up in here because he should be. He you should know, be, but he's not too good for our show now. I guess he is. Now it's a little yeah. bit of time has passed, but if Willie would like to get in here uh, and uh, throw a shot at, it, we do have a seat. Uh, but anyway, moving along here and down the road. Now McCrank, uh, you've been on this your third show, I think, right? Yeah, I think so. I yeah. think so. And you're giving us a, a very classic looking uh, Zoro sitting there. And uh, uh, so uh, you've been doing this show for, like I said, we said three times now. Um, uh, how are you feeling? It? Do you like the uh, fan edition? You having fun with these? Yeah, it gets me to draw. It so, gets you to draw. Yeah, I'm an extremely casual hobbyist. <laughs> so. All right. Uh, Bushi, could you do me a favor and take over a second while I get something done over here? I can, I can take over for a second while I get something done over here. Thank you. All right. So uh, here's my art piece. You can see how mine is spectacular and beautiful. And uh, you it notice is. the uh, posturing of the character, right? You know, that's the first thing you got to do. you got to make sure that the stance is very Zoro-like. Uh -huh. uh, quite I think he meant to go on with other people, not you. Rick! Don't interrupt me while I'm doing the show! <laughs> so you're going with the Black Manta cosplaying as Zoro, I see. Mm. Cool. I'm, I'm, I'm copying right now as you this speak. Looks very so. familiar. What, like what makes you say that? It just does. Well, uh, no, this is, uh, this is Zoro, okay? Uh, it's not finished yet, it's just a work yeah. in progress. But it's. Uh, you know, I just gotta once I fill in everything, it's going to look absolutely stunning. All right. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't actually paying attention to Chester. So whose work were we looking at? It already looks stunning. You can't, you can't improve on it. That's right. Uh, I'm back now. I got it done. What I need to do. Uh, yeah, Willie, I put a link in your Twitter, dude. Mm -hmm. You can jump in here and be like, uh, go ahead and continue though, booster. Hmm? He didn't uh, get anywhere. <laughs> well, it's because you kept interrupting me, Rick. Oh my god. Can you believe this guy, Chester? He, he gives me absolutely no respect, I tell you. He gives me no respect. Do you think you're a Rodney Dangerfield? Oh, that's Man, what I was going for. Few, you make a few drawings that look okay decently, and you think you are like a pro now or something. Well, yeah. Is that how it works? I mean. I mean, what did the the dude who did the Mona Lisa do? What else did he do, really? Come on. <laughs> he met in the helicopter. Yeah, but what else, though? The Last the Supper. Yeah, but he, what he else? The tank. <laughs> yeah, but what else, though? <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Can we hear another what else, though? Yeah. But what else, though? The Gatling gun. And then? Okay, so he did a lot. Okay, sue me. <laughs> I can't and then? Oh, oh my god. I can't please you bloody people, honestly. 
if it's possible. No. All right. I'm back. Sorry yeah. about that, guys. Sorry about the dog and such. I uh, had to deal with the door. <laughs> These people are, are bloody insane. I can't please any of them. Not that uh, insane. Absolutely why? insane. What kind of trouble are you causing now? They're all they're all being rude to me. I would not be uh, rude to you. I never said that same thing. Now, why would you guys be rude to Booster? Is it because he's uh, annoying or because he's uh, doesn't No, because listen? we love him, man. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. You know, he's the loving dad. annoyance that we give people that we love. He's always awesome. like, you love? We're all brothers here. We got a hug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let me continue what I was doing. And uh, like I said, uh, 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 Willie, if you got, if you want to jump in, I dropped it in your Twitter, dude. Uh, let's continue it on here. Of course, uh, moving on to Jiminy. Now, uh, uh, Jiminy, um, uh, you know, Zoro, of course, is uh, something that uh, a lot of us grew up with and such. But um, um, I see what you're going with is a, uh, is a, uh, a very action-posed Zoro here. But it also looks like you might be dropping that cape in there or not. What is going to be the decision on that? Uh, he's he's going to have a cape, yes. He is, I see. Yeah, I just have to draw it. So, and I'll, have the, I'll have a Zorro symbol in, in the background when the police need him. Like up here, they'll be flashing oh, the big Z in the sky like that. That's a good idea. Like you know, it's kinda, it is kind of interesting. Trailer. Have we have we seen anybody uh, in modern times try to modernize Zorro and make a comic book character out of him? No, because they don't. Because there'll be cultural appropriation, my friend. Uh, yeah, we call it Batman. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Dynamite, uh, really. I think Dynamite. if they tried to do Zoro today, it'd be too political. So I don't know. <laughs> Zoro versus the wall. Zoro the political. <laughs> Zoro versus Although they had that, um... Zoro versus ice. <laughs> <laughs> they had uh, that that DC comic I, back in the eighties. Yeah. Um, oh, gosh. What was it called? L, um, like the Eagle or something? And he's very much like Zorro. Oh, El yeah. Diablo? Uh, yeah, El I've Diablo, thank you. Yeah, El, El Diablo. That's it. He was very much like Zorro. It was, a good, it was a good comic. Yeah, well, I mean, Zorro is just a Robin Hood-esque character, right? I mean, it's, it's not... It's um, not uh... Basically, yeah, yeah. But do you? But why would you think it would be too political, though? I mean, it wasn't the uh, Zorro isn't particularly political. He's just standing against corruption. I mean, yeah, it well, does that stop people but... from remaking characters as political, Chester? But <laughs> set, set, set in today, you know, a Hispanic hero fighting against you know the system, you know, uh, to to save the poor, you know, Hispanic population. That would be that'd be ripe for yeah, especially what's you know, going on at the border right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's yeah, going wait. on at the border right now? Oh. <laughs> They're handing out candy. <laughs> okay. It's nice over there, nice. Why is there something so. particular going on at the border now that wasn't going on yesterday? Uh, or uh, a year ago? Or ten years ago? Or yeah. So that's, that's the main bad, okay. <laughs> Orange man bad. Mm. But um Orange Man bad. Yeah, so well, that, that's, that's probably why they haven't made an updated version of it. I, see. I think. Well, I think Dynamite has been printing Zoro comics off and on, like Zoro, Lord Ranger. Yeah, they have been. Yeah. yeah, but that's in the yeah. classic setting. Yeah, I was talking have. about a modern version of it. Uh, but uh, Asuka Langley uh, Soryu says uh, Zoro versus the cartels would be cool, dude. It would be. Oh, that, that would, would be, be cool. awesome. Yeah, if they, if they if they kept him fighting crime, a, yes, it'd be great. There was yeah. a Django. Django Zoro crossover like not too long ago. Django Fett? Django Fett from Star Wars? No. The Django. D- Django. I, the go. Django? Oh, D- DJ A-N-G. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Oh, oh you're Lord. talking about that uh, that was, movie about the slave like, who breaks out and murders a bunch of people. Yeah, Tarantino film was awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. not the original Django. That's a remake. Oh, I see. How I was see, the book? How was the book? Uh, yeah. I never read it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I just, yeah. I just knew it existed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you guys um, all excited, and then it's like, ah, oh, well, I never saw it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, do any of you guys remember um, Tops Comics? Um, they did a sure. Zorro series, and then they had that lady Rawhide. But right, I remember Mike yes. Mayhew. 
was drawing Zorro and did a really nice mm. job with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. He's been uh, done quite quite a number of times in comics. I remember the old Alec Toth uh, comic strip he did, which is great. Oh, yeah. 50s and 60s. Well, so. Eric over here says that uh, in the chat says that uh, I live on the South Texas border. Literally nothing mm -hmm. is going on. Yeah, I know, dude. That's what I meant. Um, and he yeah. says he meets five minutes from Mexico. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing going on. This is just uh, the press being silly. Um, the press being silly, spreading lies. <laughs> Say it isn't so, it's just... Yeah, I know. <laughs> Say uh, it isn't so, man. <laughs> they could do um, like a Zorro and Jim Acosta team up. That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Now, as you guys watching might be noticing, what I'm doing here is even though we're all talking and chatting and, and having, uh, having fun, I'm going down the row and just uh, focusing on one person's art while we do that uh, oh, cool. instead of just white boxing and talking to them directly uh, because we definitely want to have everyone's art shown more. I thought it would be a good idea, so I kind of changed it up a little bit today. Uh, but uh, so I'm, it's not stuck on anybody. I'm, I'm doing that intentionally, guys. Uh, John cool. Dillich says, Rick is so brave to be competing with his handicap. <laughs> this just goes to show that even a uh, a botched surgery that results in you drawing your drawing hand getting replaced with a, what is that, a, a moose knuckle? <laughs> you can still <laughs> art if you try. Well, see, oh, this that is an inspirational it. story. It's inspirational, and it's a it's a nicer, light, more lighthearted John, isn't it? That is like a that's Oscar winning material, if you ask me. Could be. Yes. The zombie so horde. Just the zombie horde. Yeah, John should get off the truck and get into sales, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is interesting listening to him talk and seeing his art. Then when you come to realize he's a truck driver. <laughs> It is cool, though. Um, oh, yeah. Truck drivers Never make those big bucks, you know. Yep. Actually, it's a good job, life. you know. I'm not joking. Dale Nid is here. Hail Raven, how you doing? Oh, why Hail are you Raven. doing Raven? Oh, my gosh. Uh, Hail well, Raven. Yeah, they're, they're, the, the Pope Wars continue. They shall always continue. And look at that. Rick is even <laughs> brave enough to draw feet. Sweet. How stunning and brave, truly. He is. Because my question <laughs> is, why does Rick have no hair on his arms whatsoever? Do you shave? No. Well, I got a little bit there. It's just real light. I can't see it. I don't believe it. No, you're lying. He waxes. Now, you guys do realize that Rick is actually putting his full arm right in the camera so everybody could just see his arm. Uh, yeah, he did that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, but <clears throat> yeah, no, Zorro is one of those characters that um, um, it's, 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 yeah, I think everyone has seen it. And of course, Zorro is definitely the Robin Hood character. And I'm kind of curious of where Zorro comes from. So uh, to understand that, I'm going to go over here to the Wikipedias, which we all know is the most amazing uh, place to find information. Not. Um, and, totally uh, accurate, man. Completely accurate, yeah. Uh, but let's come over here to the wiki and see if there is some information for us to glean. Mm -hmm. Uh, here we go. Zorro. <clears throat> so, uh, Zorro, Spanish for fox, yes, uh, is a fictional character created in 1919 by American pulp writer uh, Johnston McCulley. Okay. And appearing in works uh, set in the Pueblo of Los Angeles during the era of the Spanish California, uh, 1769 to 1821. Okay, cool. Uh, he is typically portrayed as a dashing masked vigilante who defends the commoners and indigenous people of California against corrupt and tyrannical officials uh, <laughs> and other villains. Mm -hmm. uh, Ooh, of my state. Too bad he didn't come now. Yeah, it could use him, huh? Uh, his signature all-black costume includes a cape, a hat known as a sombrero cordobes, and a mask covering the upper half of his face. That's right. In story, Zorio has a high bounty on his head, but it is too skilled and cunning for the bumbling authorities to catch. And he also delights in publicly humiliating them. That's true. I always got a kick of that as a kid. He also has a black horse, which is called Tomado. Tornado. Tomado. Tornado. Yep. Tomado. 
Stand <laughs> up for something you eat. A tomato? No, nah, I'm just kidding, dude. Of course, it's tornado. Uh, you say so, tornado, I say tornado. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Tor um, tornado. They talk about some of the series they have here and stuff. Once again, I have no clue if any of this is even close to being uh, correct because it's Wikipedia. But it says here the the curse of uh, Caspitrano eventually sold more than 50 million copies, becoming one of the most sold books of all time. Wow. I didn't know that, dude. Yep. That is cool. And you look at some of these old uh, <clears throat> old covers and stuff. It's really cool, man. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. The uh, Tyrone Power movie is very good from 1940. Tyrone Powers was cool. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> See the fictional biography they have here, character motifs, skills and resources. Oh, on and on and on and on. A whole bunch of stuff. But the problem is, <clears throat> of course, it's Wikipedia. So, but uh, it's probably close to being true anyway. Although they did have a serialized version uh, uh, of the stories, and there were 57 short stories that came out of that. Mm. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, yep. All right. Well, that, that is nice. Now, uh, of course, when we were sitting here talking about doing Zorro before, making a decision and voting, which uh, the vote didn't go the way I wanted, I, I actually thought it would be cooler to do the shadow, but that's all right. This is a democracy when we decide it oh, is. Oh, man. <laughs> but um, the thing I, I, uh, that came into my mind immediately when we had said Zorro was interesting was the uh, Inogo uh, uh, Montoya uh, from oh, The yeah. Princess Bride. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Love that movie. You guys like yeah. Princess Bride? Yeah, it's love good. it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I don't really Wasn't like the movie. Deadpool I like the character. One. Yeah, you know, it's pretty all right. Yeah. <laughs> you're, 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 you're so helpful, Booster. I mean, The Princess Bride is an absolutely awesome movie. Absolutely uh, love it. It's one of the, and it's also one of the base, best party drinking movies of all time, dude. <laughs> How many people die during those now? A lot, I think, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it's also a good uh, population control movie. Oh, yeah, man. It's not a good joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it is, you know, because there's various ways you can uh, watch that movie and have a drinking game with it. But uh, uh, this one of the, it's one of the most quotable movies. What, what do you guys think? What's some other movies that have lots of quotes? Uh, for, uh, really good quotes from them. What, what, what would you say? A Princess Bride is certainly a good one. What's some other ones? The, uh, Holy the first um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Huh? The first Pirates <laughs> of the Caribbean. <laughs> oh, what? Hey, you uh, found Mighty Python, the Holy Grail. Grail. Mighty, Mighty Python, Python, Holy Grail. Grail. Good oh, point. Yeah, going Holy back Grail. to the first Python, Pirates of the Caribbean. Airplane. Excuse me, what? Yeah. No. <laughs> airplane. Oh, airplane. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't the Carrots, the Pirates of the Caribbean, you, you, you did it now. Okay, now prove your point. Pirates of the Caribbean, give me a single quotable, please. Me? That's yeah. not a pirate. This is a pirate. <laughs> okay, hold on. No, hold on. No Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Wikipedia. No, I can give you one. The greatest okay, here's, here's one. Here's, here's, oh, here's one Pirates of the Caribbean. It's been so long since I've seen it, though. I used to know the really, really long uh, skit oh, that those that two bumping idiots used to do that guard the ship. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean it's quotable. Can anyone give me a single quote Got from it. Pirates of the Caribbean? Anybody? Um, Anybody? I can. I can give you one. Hey, right, Jack. Okay, but but you have heard of me. <laughs> huh? That, but, but you, you have, have heard of me. Yeah, yeah that, mm -hmm. that is quite from... <sighs> that, 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 that's, that's the one quotable quote from Pirates of the Caribbean. All right, thank you. This is no, what the no. world has come to. This is what the world no. has come to. Pirates of the Caribbean. There are many. It, 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 it's just, it's horrible. It's horrible. About your mother was a hamster and your father <laughs> smelled the elderberries. Elder what? Yes, yes. what movie is that from? That is from uh, The Holy Grail. Let's see. That's the most quotable movie, I think, for sure. Yeah, yeah The Holy Grail is incredibly uh, that, uh, quotable. That is true. Uh, but uh, I think there's some other ones, too. Uh, somebody had mentioned Airplane, and that certainly has a bunch of quotes in it. Um, let's see. What yep. else we got? Um, um, ooh. I know mm -hmm. that uh, the first Die Hard has a couple, but it's not a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Come on, Booster. Help me out there. 
Get a scary two. movie. What? Uh, Road to El Dorado. Huh? What? Fight Club. You're just naming stupid Fight movies. Club. You just call Fight, Fight Club a stupid probably movie? probably has quite a bit. I can't even hear what you're saying now. You're dead to me. Spaceballs. Oh, you... Spaceballs is Watch up. out! Did you actually call Fight Club a stupid movie? No, I didn't. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh. Yes, he did. He said no. I think, <laughs> I think he did. <laughs> like, 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 that was like, one like. of the ones Booster said. Mm hmm. Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz is good. Are you sure he didn't kill himself? <laughs> <laughs> is it true? If you shoot a certain part of the human brain, it'll blow up. Mm, it's not. Uh, Asuka says that, uh, dude, where's my car? Dude. Oh, oh my no. What does my tattoo no. say? Dude, no. what does mine say? Sweet. No. No, stop him. Yeah, I know. That was a horrible <laughs> fuck, dude. Uh, but it's got oh. that dude in it. Uh, what, what's his name? Uh, uh, the idiot that married that old woman. Um, oh, oh, man. Kutcher. Me. Ashton Kutcher? Yeah, Ashton Kutcher. He's a moron. Yeah. He is a moron. <laughs> Ashton yeah. Kutcher married an old woman? Yeah, he married Demi Moore. Yeah. He, married, Bill, he married Demi Moore. Bill Willis's old wife. Yeah. <laughs> Did I say Bill she, Willis? Oh, you know, no. and that went really well. She hasn't turned into an absolute psychopath at all. Not at all. Mm. Well, he, mm. well, he's not married no, to her no, anymore. No, no. Yeah, but I was talking about her. Because okay. that lady just went off the deep end. But then again, uh, I, if we follow the pattern that we have, that Cher has taught us, we know that she'll eventually come to a place of crazy peace. So... Wait, right. wait, there's still hope for Demi Moore. There's still hope. Because she <laughs> did all that same stuff, dude. Oh, my God. Well, she was married to Bruce Willis, so, you know. Yeah, for a very long time. And it's obvious they still love each other. And she just left for some kind of silly vanity, right? That was one of the few uh, couples in Hollywood that actually got along. And she went and ruined yeah. it because she was, you know, I'm not as beautiful as I used to be. Let me put these fake tits on. You guys will love it. <laughs> and I thought this would be so <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you, you, have a lot of, you have a lot of strong opinions about Demi Moore. <laughs> I do. <laughs> just a you tell silly us more. person. Did she break your heart, Chester? Tell us a story. No, what I happened? Just, she's so silly, dude. She it, it's, fall in love with an idiot. She did fall in love with What's her fake tits better than yours, Chester? <laughs> yeah, my, my fake tits are badass, dude. Don't you even mess with it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to mess with your tits. Chester, <laughs> you don't know that. The thing is, Chester's aren't fake. <laughs> uh, wow, this shoot. is a really PG stream going on right now. It is, man. But hey, <laughs> I am definitely a person who does prefer 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 the natural order of things. I don't appreciate plastic, uh, very hard as a Cups. rock things. Appendages, mm -hmm. bulbs, bulbs. Yeah. Have you guys ever felt uh, one of those fake tits before? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> one time uh, when I was no, in the I have room. not. I have not felt fake titties. I what have. Do you, what? How? How are they? They suck, man. Ah. Oh. <laughs> they really do. Sad to hear that. I much prefer the natural ones, man. Hmm. 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 Take your word for it. Oh, there you go. You have to trust the Chester on these subjects. I will. I, I'll take your word for this. I do. <laughs> you guys just, uh, Jude says, Jurassic Park, hold on to your butts. But Clever girl, we spared no expense. Yeah, that's true. Good point, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Napoleon Dynamite. Another one. Another one. Napoleon How much time do we have left? Oh, we have much... ourselves uh, over an hour, dude. You got plenty of time. Um, mm. An hour and 20 minutes, actually. He's ready no, but, um, to be done. Come get your dinner. <laughs> yeah. That movie's the best. Uh, so I always fall asleep during that Napoleon Dynamite movie. That's yeah, I didn't really like it, but that's not my generation, so it's it's not really for me. It's all right. Um, during when my generation, it was like all over the place. It was like you couldn't get away from it. Yeah, it's mm. kind of like, uh, what's that old booster? The um, young people like that uh, Scott Pilgrim thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, I, movie. I, the manga was fun. fun. The movie was okay. 
Yeah, but you gotta understand, hand. I love Edgar Wright's work, so that's, that's uh, yeah, that's no, Edgar Wright's cool. I thought it was fine. Um, yeah. It was in the theater for so short because of how little it made. Oh really? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, fine. I went to theaters like to see it. I wanted to go see it again. Mm -hmm. Next thing I know, it was gone, and this was like two weeks after it wow. was out. Wow. What, your was it just your area, or because uh, uh, no, oh, everywhere. Right? I, okay. I looked up the showings in all my areas, and I live in a pretty busy area. Uh huh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Well, uh, Kronos Chiron says we need to test this. Are they like balloons? And uh, McGrimlock King says, "Amen. Nothing, nothing like a natural affair." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Oscar Fear Tossbot mm -hmm. says, "Like a stress ball." No. Uh, well, <laughs> more welcome like to Titspeak, where we discuss hard, the I best of boobs. Yeah, yeah. More <laughs> like a, it feels more like a, uh, uh, yeah, it's kind of got a stress ball thing on, but more like a plastic stress ball with a little give. And it's not good. Mm. I don't like them. Mm, mm. Okay. <laughs> Duel says, how many more lines of the pirates do I have to quote until you notice? Dude, I'm just ignoring you because uh, we don't get to talk about Pirates of the Caribbean here. Booster hates it. What? That is a bold face lie. I love me some parts. It has all been on you, Chester. Dude, <laughs> you keep your homosexual tendencies to yourself, brother. I don't need to know about that. I will put my homosexual tendencies wherever I please. Oh, oh, oh. just not me. Hey, hey how do you, you know he's not You will take it and you'll love it. <laughs> how do you know he's not talking about female pirates? This is no, because it's Booster. All right. Anyway, moving along because this is getting sideways. Uh, Dave says, "Strange brew with Bob and Doug McKenzie." Uh, me and my oh, brother yeah. used to say drowning in beer would would be like heaven. Now he's not here, and I got two soakers. <laughs> this is <laughs> this sucks. Yeah. No, that is a good movie. Mm. It's the uh, it's probably the movie Canadians are most proud of. Yeah, we're good. Well, that's <laughs> probably something. Gotta give them something. Aliens. Here. Aliens. Yeah. Game yeah. over, man. Game over. <laughs> okay, one line doesn't count. <laughs> well, I would say the other one, but apparently uh, Chester wants to keep this PG-13, but we've been talking about his tits all night. Yeah. Is that, is that not PG-13? What? What, titties? Um, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I don't know if it's PG enough, thir PG thirteen enough for Transformers. It's uh, probably PG thirteen mm. enough for this stream. Uh, excuse me. Well, look here's the, the Michael thing. Bay ones. We don't talk about Michael Bay here either. You you really don't pay <laughs> attention to the rules at all, do you, man? Just, just flagrantly disregard disregarding them. It's unbelievable. But you can't uh, forget that Chester is biased, right? I am, dude. And um, there's nothing PG-13 about respecting a natural part of a natural woman. Because you know what? We love women. Mm, we do so, so much. Yeah. Mm. Well. We love them so much we didn't decide to draw red Sonia. Mm. Ah. <laughs> hey, you were given the option of doing a lady Zorro. Uh, oh, I said Efren Zeta Jones and a skimpy little Zorro outfit, but no. Uh, oh, that's true. Now, John makes a good point here. Uh, John Diller says, Mean Girls is the most quotable movie. He's right. There is a lot of quotes in that. And when I was younger, uh, there was a movie called Fast that. Times at Richmond High as well. But uh, I think... All right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, did, yeah, mm -hmm. I know that one. Yeah. Yeah. All I need is some tasty waves, a cool buzz, and I'm fine, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a great movie. It's too bad it's been lost to time, huh? Yeah. Still show what, fast time? Oh, Chrono Skyrim says Porky's. Yeah, Porky's was a fun movie too, but I think oh Fast God. Times was much better. <laughs> what? What? Model three? What? Can't you get throat cancer from Catherine Zeta Jones? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, not in my experience. <laughs> no, dude. Actually, I was talking about before the show. Uh, um. I'm sure we all have lists uh, in our brains of uh, movie moments that had the most beautiful moment of a female, right? Or well, at least I do. 
and um my uh, the, the my top three are kind of uh, one of them is really weird, but one of them is uh, Catherine Zeta Jones in Zorro, and uh, she was absolutely stunning in that uh, when she's sitting on the veranda of that uh, plantation house and the sun is setting and is coming in. She in that beautiful dress, gorgeous, gorgeous mm. moment. Yeah. Wasn't that near the end? That that, that doesn't beat Selma Hayek in Desperado. Oh, yeah, oh no, or Selma Hayek and Dawn from Dawn Till Dusk. <laughs> exactly. Selma Hayek in anything. Mm-hmm. She wins. <laughs> Selma Hayek can win Fools Rush in. Selma Hayek. <laughs> yeah. That was that was pretty well, see, The thing is, she is actually sexy. They keep throwing all sec- these uh these actresses at us who have pretty faces, but they're not actually sexy sexy, even though they try to act like it. <laughs> Bray Larson. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop it. What? what? I thought this was a no Brie Larson zone. Oh my god. have gone all night Larson. without a mention of Brie Larson. Yeah. Yeah, Dust Till Dawn. Uh, 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 she was absolutely killer in that. Uh, but another one for me, oddly, and I don't know what happened, but if you watch The Adventures of Baron Munchausen, uh, there oh, yeah. is a Terry Gilliam, right? Gilliam, right? Mm-hmm, There's yeah. a moment in there yep. with Uma Thurman is. Absolutely stunning, dude. And then the next thing I saw her in was Cats and Dogs or something like that. And it was like right. she, she became super ugly. And I was like, what the hell happened, dude? Um, yeah. I, don't, I don't know, man. Her face has always bothered me. I think she just lost too she much She has weight. like a bird face on her. Dude, she's go, gonna, she's going to like try and pick on my brains. Go watch The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. She's stunning in it. A what? The Adventures of Baron Munchausen, one of the greatest movies ever made, dude. Sounds like a movie for your stream, Chester. It 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 absolutely is. It's one of my favorite movies. Uh, yeah, ter- it's one of, I think it's Terry Gilliam's best. Um, I, don't know I like Brazil more, but yeah, mm. Brazil was pretty good. Too. It was. You're right. You're right. But I like I like The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. It was just really killer. Mm. But um, yeah, yeah. He did, he did. He did. Time Bandits too, right? Yeah. Yep. I Time changed Bandits. my mind. She's okay yes. in this movie. She oh. is too. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'll be right back for five minutes. Oh good. <laughs> <laughs> he literally left too. <laughs> five minutes. Booster knows. Man. Booster knows exactly how far to take a joke, doesn't he? Unbelievable. I, I don't think he's joking. No, oh, he's joking, dude. He'll be back in a second. Uh, <laughs> goodness gracious. Uh, unless someone kicked him, but I don't think so. I'm the only one who had control other than him. Uh, Blee, Brie Larson, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, all they had to do... as great I mean, as Kristen Stewart. Oh, God, that girl's awful, too. But the thing is, you know, okay, <laughs> Brie Larson is a noisy person in her own life. Fine, okay? But all they had to do, mm. all they had to do was make a killer trailer. That's all. Right. It would have been they fine. Nailed. Badly. <laughs> yeah. All they had to do was make a killer movie, and I'm having a feeling if the trailer's not good, the movie's not going to be good. Well, well that, that movie's going to suck. I mean, if Bob Iger's publicly trolling the movie, we all know it's going to suck. Sorry, I was he quicker is. than I thought. Uh, yeah, well, that's okay. We expected about uh, 30 seconds, so yeah. you did a good job. Well, I did a whole minute this time, Chester. You did. You did. Yeah, I'm a big boy now. <laughs> what did anyway. Bob Iger say, dude? <laughs> hmm? What did Bob Iger say? Someone said Bob Iger was uh, making fun of uh, the Captain Marvel movie. Oh, I know. It ha- I read the Twitter. Basically, uh, Bob Iger was saying, oh, get ready for a wild ride. Captain Marvel is going to do great. In fact, I say we build a Captain Marvel land with 50 attractions and a restaurant and cruise ships and and boats. Wow, sarcasm. Interesting. Wow. I that am not, not kidding. That's interesting. It was hilarious. Kira Knightley deception scene at the end of Pirates 1? Okay. I don't know exactly what a Kira Knightley is, but all right. <laughs> She's the woman from Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, that horrible movie that I hate and my whole family hates? Right. That one? Oh, yeah. Okay. Why do you keep doing this, Chester? Why do you like this? 
because it's a horrible movie. It's stupid. You had You're a stupid, guy. horrible movie. <laughs> All right, fine. No, you start out with this guy and uh, the, the whole sinking boat thing and him stepping off. And, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Then he goes and he's just you know this thing that's supposed to be drunk that doesn't look drunk it looks like he has some manner of disease uh going around talking like an <laughs> idiot it, it, <laughs> what the hell dude it's a horrible movie oh my god how 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 do you as the greatest pirate i've like ever johnny seen Depp's Mick, you don't like johnny Jep, Depp's mick jagger impression <laughs> i think mick no, jagger I, was in one of those movies I don't no, care. That was, for Johnny um, Depp at all. Yeah. I don't. And he actually plays Captain Jack Sparrow's uh, father. I thought. No, it was his. his uh, the guy no. who plays a uh, bass on his uh, in his band. Uh, the really the old guy. Bass player doesn't count. Oh. Excuse me. The bass yeah, player is Keith essential. Richards. It's Keith Richards. He was he's mimicking Keith Richards. Then Keith Richards came in and played his father in a later movie. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. All right. Makes sense. But Keith Richards does have brain damage, so I guess I get it. Mm -hmm. um, DeWolf wants to bring in Madeline Kahn from Frankenstein. Uh, cool. She's still alive? I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Although, I, I did love Young Frankenstein. That was a good uh, Mel Brooks movie. Yeah, it was a great movie. Mm. Loved it. <laughs> Amusement Park. Uh, let's see here. Ken Knightley was in Phantom Menace. Was she? Wonderful. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She played yep. one of the. She played the one of the decoy queens. That doesn't help me at all. I don't really care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so model three says Helena Bonham Carter in Harry Potter. What is what is a Helena Bonham Carter? We just lost somebody. Oh, uh, uh, she's okay. like she's pretty much a female Johnny Depp. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. <laughs> what is she oh, playing man. Harry Potter? What was she in there? Uh, she was one of those quirky, uh, kooky, uh, bad witches. She was Tim Burton's uh, wife for a while, I believe. And okay, she was Burton's also wife. the chick that, uh, she that was one of the guys Fight in Club. Fight Club shagged. Yeah. Was she Bellatrix? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Bellatrix. Yeah, yeah, that's her. Oh, that was a cool character, though. I did like that character. Yeah. But that's not Kieran Knightley, so. Hmm. Uh, hopefully, we will get uh, Trusty Sidekick back. Uh, he's seen to uh, frozen and drop. Oh, yeah. but, uh, Karen Knightley's way too skinny, man. She needs more meat on her. Yeah, she's well, very uh, skinny. Yeah, it, it, like it's it's like ugh, yeah. no, it's not good. I'm, I'm actually surprised that, that um, Chester doesn't like her because she's scrawny as anything. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. What? You say I you like skinny women. women. Gonna, no, I know. No. How dare you? She is not nearly skinny enough for Chester. She, what? She's not even like a sack of skin and bones. <laughs> just the, like zero percent muscle and fat. In fact, just get like just some chicken bones, throw it in a sack. Chester will love it. <sighs> <sighs> this is. These are lies. This is conspiracy and propaganda. Do not listen to this. Uh. Phone overheated, I think. No problem, dude. Just uh, come in when you can. Come back in when you can, dude. Uh, that's uh, coming from Trusty Sidekick. Yeah, it seems when people oh, are using the phones, it's a little bit of a problem, huh? It's too bad. It's a, mm. Yeah, it's a long time to be on the phone for this. It yeah. is. Justin yeah. Ward is, I'm a Justin Ward is confirming uh, she was in the Fight Club. Okay, there you go. Bellatrix mm -hmm. Lestrange. Yeah, I like the character. I thought Bellatrix was cool. Yeah, she was. It's sad uh, she got killed. Oh, well. Oh, spoilers. I love oh. it what she did. Oh, yeah. And, she, and Snape, she... Snape kills Dumbledore. Shh. They did. That's right. Oh, dude. I wasn't going to get around to watching those movies. Come on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, I, Jude... Now, I you in trouble. Now, Jude uh, Venelin says... Uh, IMDB uh, DB puts The Princess Bride as the most quotable movie at 162 quotes. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure at second <laughs> with 54 quotes, oh, and Ferris yeah. Bueller's Day Off as third with 46 quotes. Ferris Princess Bueller. Bride kills. Yes, it does. Princess Bride is an amazing yeah. flick. It's all right. Yeah, once again, thanks. You know, you're supposed to be a little more energetic. What did I tell you about how to do your job, Booster? Uh... <laughs> Have you done the straw pull? Have you done the straw pull? All pull yet, booster? Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Rick, that's uh, Chester's job to uh, give me crap about that, not yours. Shut your whole mouth. 
Uh, 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 Justin wants. Okay, to maybe I, maybe I was reminding Chester to do it. Uh, no, oh uh, Chester, Chester will get on that soon. Y uh, you Justin. see, you see this guy trying to tell us how to do our jobs, Chester. I know Rick is a troublemaker. We know that. Mm-hmm. And he also hates well, he's uh, big, immigration. He's a big streamer now. He's a big streamer now. So he. Knows it's just because he's huge better. now. He thinks he can give us crap. I know, dude. I know. Yeah. Uh, Justin Ward says, Chester, did I hear you live in Tokyo? No, dude. I live in uh, the southern island of Japan, but uh, I do live in Japan, yeah. Uh, Dave says that uh, the Dark Knight, totally quotable. Uh-huh. Like where? Pretty much Why anything that so serious. Oh, that one. Yeah, a lot oh, of how I got these scars. Let's put a smile on that face. Ooh. Why My so serious? I don't know how I got these what scars. There you go. My father was a fiend. Blah blah blah. <laughs> hey, no, that that uh, that uh, that boy did a really good job. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they going? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Joker, we decided we do not want to blow up any of the ships. No, no, that is not part of the plan. Only one ship gets to leave. Uh, Willie, Willie okay. Reed is uh, complimenting you guys. He said everything's looking really good so far. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Um, Thank you. Uh, let's see. Thanks, here. Willie. Remember, Willie, vote for your fellow Canadian. Uh, uh, what? No. You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to group together. You commies. Think, think for yourself, Willie. Vote for Jiminy Cricket. That's right. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> Remember, Willie, do do not vote for Booster. You should have. That is true. Don't don't. Booster. Whatever you do, don't vote for Booster. No. Oh my don't god! Don't wish you vote. All right now, guys, keep okay. in mind here we're coming up on one hour in, and uh, I've I've been showing everyone's art right along here, but I'm about to go in and actually look uh, very specifically at everybody's art and have a talk with them. Uh, but uh, before we do that, just keep in mind that uh, of course the mandatory hit that like button and subscribe, please. Uh, but uh, also to share it out is very helpful, and but more importantly, we appreciate you guys being here and supporting us. Um, for everything we do, not just here, the Journal Court Fan Edition, but also the, all the things we have on FanSpeak. Uh, we have a lot of fun over here. Of course, because it is FanSpeak, we we encourage the fans to come on and speak. So uh, if you go down and hit those links uh, to my Twitter or my Facebook, and you'd like to be on one of our shows and give your opinion, please do so. Uh, and uh, we are very happy to have everyone's opinion. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun, huh, Booster? Uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. <sighs> Goodness gracious. All right. Let me come back over here, and I'm going to start with Bill. Now, Bill, uh, we're about an hour in here, dude, uh, which means you guys have an hour left. Uh, how are you feeling about your progress? Yeah, things are right. Yeah, it's yeah, a good time. I love it. <laughs> I guess he's yeah. not feeling very good about it. Yeah. 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 Well, he's not paying me. attention at all. Let's see how long it takes him to pay attention. Trying to talk to yeah. Bill here. I mean, Bill's he's not paying really, attention. He's, he's going hot out with his art. You see it? Yes, he is. He is. He is. Yeah. yeah. I see he's got a hat that's too small. Mm. Oh. Hey, how is everybody doing tonight? Oh, hi, Bill. How you Hello, doing, man? Bill. Did you know we're doing a show called Drawn and Quartered Fan Edition? How you doing, man? I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> All right, dude. So, I'm uh, doing what do you great. feel? I'm uh, having a lot of fun drawing Zorro. Um, and listening to the wise musings of Chester and the idiotic ramblings of Booster. It's been hey. a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. Bill. Hey, you know something you interesting, Bill? When I was a high school kid, I was actually in, I was actually a fencer. Cool. Yeah. cool. I studied some fencing uh, stances. How, how many fences did you put up, Chester? Oh, about 25. <laughs> 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 Actually, I did fencing. It was one of the few sports that I actually was pretty good at. Uh, my dad was one of those fathers that uh, his son had to do every sport that existed, uh, most, mm. of which, uh, most of which I was either mediocre mm. or not. But all you wanted to do was dance, I understand. I know, dude. Mm. Now, the mm. only two sports I was any good at at all was a little bit with football and uh, fencing. Everything else I was really kind of sucked. But whatever. Uh, but I love the fencing, though. School of yeah, I like dude. Fencing is fantastic. Mm. I've built 
I like split rail fences. I've done a lot of those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Put up a few chain link fences. Um, it's wondering, wonderful how these guys make the same joke, you know, over and over and over. Well, this joke, mm -hmm. I was thinking of <laughs> instead of doing a, Never gets I'm old. Building, I'm mm -hmm. building a fence around or wall around my house. I was going to do concrete, but instead I'm oh, just okay. going to do some metal slats. I think just work uh, out just to let you know that uh, DeWolf over here has done you one better, and he says, Chester bought and sold stolen goods. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, Fencing, yeah. I'm glad we're all very funny. Well, whatever. Um, but um, yeah, uh, there's really cool action pose you got going on here, though. Um, I see you've uh, erased it out, but you might want to make his hat a little bit more sombrero like, I think. Will do. Cool. Looks good. All right, let's move over here to Adrian. Uh, so, Adrian, we're an hour in, dude. And, uh, ooh, that's a pretty good booster. Look at that. No, looking at oh, that's awesome, bro. That is a good one, man. I like that. Uh, nice. He's in yeah, a lunge. I've actually drawn a lot of fencing before because I was going to do a comic about swashbuckling musketeers. Cool. Right. Touche. Cool. They, they dude. say that, that I'm fencing, right? They say touche. Uh, <laughs> no, but you know, whatever. I thought they. Oh. I thought it was <laughs> I'm looking it up. I think they say four. Like four. In fencing, used as an acknowledgement of a hit by one's opponent. Touche. Mm -hmm. That's probably Touché. like 200 years ago, but good on you, dude. Um, <sighs> I like it, though, Adrian. It looks really good. <clears throat> I like the action pose. And it's definitely, definitely, definitely Zorro. I see the mask is perfect, too. Yep. Very nice. I like Very the nice. old Zorro. Yeah. All right, let me come down over here, trusty sidekick. See how he's coming along. Uh, can we get a good look at this, trusty? Uh, can you bring it up through the camera a little bit? I see you're getting your inks going in there a little bit. Uh, nice poses. That's, that's cool. You guys got a lot of interesting poses coming out. Um, your camera is not happy with you, though. It's no, it is is brutal. <laughs> so oh, did it go? No, no, it's on. It's just uh, okay. it's not really good. Uh, but so what you want to do toward the end here? is when you're finished with it, you want to take a picture and you want it to send it to me and I will show everybody so they can see it clearer, okay? Because okay. it looks like it would oh, yeah. be fantastic. It's just your uh, camera is not doing you any favors. Oh, well, there yeah, it goes. His camera just uh, focused. Yeah. That does uh, jumped out again. Yeah, I've, I'm, I'm watching the stream on the iPad too so I can see what you're talking about. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's all right, dude. We'll just keep going with it. It seems oh, well. to come in and out. It looks good though. Thank you. Absolutely. All right, let's come down over here to McCrank, my McCrank. Nor my brother from another mother over there in Norway. Uh, cool. So uh, you to go with very classy. You got an hour left, dude. You got to put a background in there. What are you going to do? Uh, I don't know. This is an absolute disaster. Why? Disaster Why? Why? Looks Why? good. Keep it, I mean, it looks <laughs> terrible. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that looks good. No, keep, keep it up. Yeah, dude, just keep going. One, just put a background in there. It'll be cool. Looks fine, dude. A background? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Beavis? <laughs> you know, something behind the main figure, uh, the background. <laughs> uh, uh. And Model 316 says, ah, foiled again. Oh, goodness gracious. <sighs> I tell everybody, listen clearly, comedy is for bears. Bears. Okay. <laughs> waka waka. Right. Moving on. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what was that? Sorry, Chester. We just can't bear your comedy. Oh. Oh, oh God. That no. hurt. That, oh, that, like, Rick. Ooh, Rick, that pun un was unbearable. Stop bearing down on him. <laughs> that would gave me a cramp. I think Booster caught AIDS. Uh, if, if you keep doing that, I'm going to have to beat you with my bare hands. Oh, my. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can bear it. Oh, oh no, he boy. does it again. He doubles down, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Doubles down. Um, we see that uh, uh, Jiminy Cricket is here. He's starting to get his inks in. And uh, can we see the whole thing real quick? Oh, there you go. Wow, that's cool. Great action pose. Love that cape, man. That cape's going to be killer in the end. It's a lot of work, though, huh? Um, yeah, thankfully, he's mostly black. So <laughs> I'm hoping yeah. I can finish it this time. My, my, goal is to get, my goal is to get more than just my own vote tonight so <laughs> yeah okay well, 
Good luck, buddy. Vote for me, please. <laughs> just keep in mind, if I voted, I would have voted for you, dude. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Last I appreciate your non-vote. <laughs> well, your non-vote of confidence. <laughs> no, because I, I don't feel like I should vote, so I don't. Uh, no, but, I understand. Uh, do, That's fine. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Manny says Fozzy Busby. <laughs> God, these <laughs> jokes are getting worse, man. They're um, like unbearable. <laughs> Yeah, oh. uh, but uh, it does uh, look really good, dude. So continue with it and uh, move down the road here to Elric Huga. Elric Hello. is uh, on, in the on guard position. Nice. On guard. Yes, I was kind of disappointed. But, so I started to add a few more details. I made the head and neck too big, so I decided to add a few things. Okay. To try and even it out. I'm not too happy right now. I'm trying to make it a little better. Well, you're probably safe because Booster's characters always have a head that is too big. That's true, yeah. Your mind's looking a bit big right now, in fact. There you go. We're going to check that in a second and coming over to you. Uh, so, all right, uh, Elric, good luck to you, man. Keep it up. Now let's come over here Thank to you. Cross. Ah, Cross's character's coming along, huh, Booster? Take a look at that. Holy crap, Cross. Yeah. Although he's, all right, man. You, he's you're learning right. from uh, John Mellon, huh? You learn about the uh, the silhouetting, I see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. This is more of a saber I want than a. To uh, paint it black. This is more of a saber than an epee or or a uh, rapier or something, but uh, mm -hmm. that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just the fighting style would be a lot different with that, but uh, still, it's cool. All right, man. Keep it up. And mm -hmm. then, of course, that brings us to the last booster. You are mm -hmm. a white box booster for the first time in what? ever. Oh, oh, crap. I'm not screen shooting, huh? No. Sorry. I'll just... Uh... There we uh, are. I'm sure he shared his <laughs> he was, uh... It's Puss in Boots. <laughs> does that count? Hmm? Well, does it does count? have... He's technically Zoro. Oh, cool. That's great. Mm -hmm. I love that. <laughs> well, 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 I mean, he wasn't Antonio Banderas, wasn't he? And he was a yeah, uh, he yeah, was Antonio he was Banderas. Wearing big peas on the trees and everything for the, like a Z. That's great. He got the rep. Yeah, he's a. I think. Man, I might uh, vote for booster. I think it. Uh, I think it counts. No, nope, I it might counts. vote for you, booster. <laughs> uh oh, done. Yeah. Oh, come on now, we can't send booster to pro edition. That would be horrible. <laughs> Do it. Oh, uh, we need to booster his ego. Uh, wow. <laughs> Rick, God. I'm telling you, man, the universe is going to punish you. I'm telling you. It's going to punish you? I'm glad you caught my joke, Booster. Most people miss them. Mm -hmm. um, John Dilly Gaming Sister says, Chester, you know, as soon as Adrian gives that limp sword some shark cartilage soup, it will be a stiff competition. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my. Uh, March here is here. He says hello. I thought I saw you earlier, but I guess not. That must have been on the earlier stream. Um, um, uh, Model 3 says Rick wins, as in the blowing wind. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Gary Shipman needs 50 more subs. He is getting close to not, none of your business. That's true. That's cool. Nice. He's, had my sub, he's had my sub for months upon months upon months. Gary Shipman is awesome. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whoa, I think Cross is going to the Pro Edition. Oh, goodness. More bear jokes. Panda have another. Oh. No. Oh, yi, What did I do to deserve this? I, I don't think. I, uh, what What evil have Something I done terrible. in my life? Give mm -hmm. yourself terrible. a bear icon? Give yourself a bear icon? Oh. Gary Shipman drew that. Gary Shipman put his heart and soul into drawing that pink pan for Icon for Chester. Excuse me, it's a bear. <laughs> hey, nobody said exactly. the bear drawing wasn't good. It's just you're using it. Oh, well, <laughs> there, a little bit shade from the Rick. I'll take that though. That was the best one so far. <laughs> hey, he's spicy today. He is, yeah. Uh, so what would you suggest I use instead, Rick? I don't know. All right. So you know, <laughs> oh, you're kind of, kind of past that. 
he, he can uh, throw insults, but he can't give you any uh, any resolutions, huh? No, no he he can't. Huh? Oh my god. Oscar? Oh, I see. From Sister Sheet, because I'm a grouch, I get it. Uh-huh. Uh, none of your business says, looks like a lioness. Thank you, none of your business. You're supposed to be here supporting Gary Shippen. Right? <laughs> bad, bad. Very bad. It's, it's a bear good. with a hat. How did that? I thought it had a, like a cigar. Oh, it would this? be cool. It's that like a be. saxophone cigar. I get it. No, he put it there because I'm a saxophone player, but it would have been cool. It would be cool with a, uh, with a pipe. Actually, I smoke a pipe, but I don't smoke a cigar. But yeah, the yeah, scar like would be cool. Saxophone. I always pipe. Anybody else smoke a pipe? So you said you played sax. I My dad was a pipe. Oh, I don't smoke, uh, Chester. I'm a good Christian boy. Oh, My dad I smoked a pipe. Smoke. My uncle used to smoke. Uh, Jiminy pipe. Cricket says his dad smokes a pipe. Well, that's cool. Are you, uh, you seeing as you and I are very similar age, are you trying to call me old, sir? Oh, you are kind of, but he, he was buried with it, so you know, there's that. Oh wow! <laughs> Take it with me. See, he, very he good job in your business. Wow, that bear is awesome. Di- no, you're right. He didn't die of lung cancer though, so so you're you might be safe. <laughs> I'm sure I am. I got a very nice. The, pipe. Um, I like my pipe. Yeah, but pipe pipe pipes are cool. Mm-hmm. Well, Dave is saying that he smokes a crack pipe. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, okay then. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, no. drugs aren't oh, cool, kids. No. Yeah, the problem for me is I have to order uh, from the internet because there's no uh, smoking a pipe is not tradition here in Japan, I guess. So I have to get it uh-huh. on the internet, which is troublesome in multiple ways other than the cost. Mm. Uh, but you know, it is uh. what it is. You so don't have any tobacco stores in. Uh... Yeah. No, the nearest one I have found was in Tokyo. Okay. And that's a, that's like that's a two hour flight away, so you know. Wow. Yeah. Flight? Yes. Did you take a plane? Mm-hmm. That's wow. right. From where you are to Tokyo, it's two hours. I mean, how else do you plan on flying? Yes, it's wow. two hours from, from Tokyo. Oh I, my live, God. I live quite a ways thought... away. Dang, that's yeah. a Yeah, you look freaking far. I do. I do. Uh, and I don't get to Tokyo hardly, so it's uh, so. Mm-hmm. Therefore, uh, it is something mm-hmm. that I have to use the internet for. And Dave is assuring us over and over that you can buy crack on the internet. Thank you. Let's uh, <laughs> no, we'll get right yeah, on that. That's uh, that's good. Yeah. Good enough. Welcome to Fed Speak, everybody. We talk <laughs> boobs and crack. That's we uh, that's, uh <laughs> we do. That's what we do. Let's go right on oh. back to uh, New Jack City, man. Whoa. <laughs> Nostalgia. Oh, no. Wesley oh, no. Snipes. First the introduction to him I think I ever had was on uh, New Jack City. Huh. Mm. You never saw what was that uh that baseball movie? Um Major League. With, yeah, that 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 came uh after um New Jack City? I'm, I'm not sure. Uh mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. I, if it New wasn't Jack then City that's where I first saw it from, I guess. Yeah. It was a good movie though, I did like it. Both yep. of those movies, actually. Yep, uh, yep. But yeah, but no. As far as the tobacco thing here in Japan, it's it just is what it is. So you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, I get, get I found a. It took me a bit about a while, so it was kind of a waste of money. But uh, I did find a website where I could get uh, uh, good stuff from. So it's you know. Mm. When did you start smoking a pipe? Me? Oh, geez. Yeah. Thirty years ago, I guess. Wow. That's a mm. long time. Well, um, I I grew up with it in my in, around me because my my I grew up on my mother's side of the family, mm-hmm. and um, you know my uh, my dad just uh, his family was far away. We visited, and we had an interaction, but mainly I lived in that environment, and they're all fishermen, right? Um, mm. And they all smoke a pipe. I don't know if there's a reason, gotcha. but uh, they, and I just was around it, so I want to be like my cool uncles, I guess. I got gotcha. mm-hmm. you. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I got asthma, so I can't be around that. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I'm not endorsing it. I'm just, you know, I smoke a pipe. That's what I do. <laughs> that's perfectly fine. Yeah. I judge it, you not. It works out well, too, because my wife hates the smell of t- uh, cigarette tobacco. Uh, okay. But, uh, of course, yeah. pipe Wait, there's tobacco a difference? smells good. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pipe tobacco. Yeah, yeah. 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 it yeah. smells very good. I mean, I don't like the smell of uh, cigars, but I mean, I it's, can't do it. Cigars be around nasty. anyways, but still, there's a different smell to them. Yeah, yeah there is. Uh, pipe tobacco tends to smell very sweet. Really? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Not it's not like a musky smell like a cigar. Mm-mm. No. No. Huh? That's interesting. Never knew about that. Now you do. Yay! We learn here. We do. <laughs> Now we know! And no, he's half the battle. No, he's half the battle. G.I. Jose! (laughs) Yeah, no, that's true. Uh, None of your business says some pipe tobacco is very aromatic. Yes, it is. Yeah. And one of these things that was going on for uh, a while now that I never tried was that vaping. Uh, In in Japan, vaping is technically illegal. Uh, So you can't do it here. Yeah. Wow. Why? I don't know. It probably has something to do with politicians and the money in their pocket, I would assume. Okay. Um, cigarettes aren't illegal, are they? Oh no, no, it's big business. Yeah. So. Of course it is. That's, that sounds odd to me. <laughs> uh, Japan has a lot of odd things, dude. <laughs> uh, March here. It's, it. it's like, can I ask you something, to Booster? Oh uh, sure. <laughs> Not you. I thought you said Booster. Oh sorry, I meant Chester. Mm. Oh. <laughs> they're, they're very similar. No, okay, I understand. Understand. Well, okay, but uh, Chester, I want to take questions from. Besides me. from underpants, what's the oddest thing you found in a vending machine? Oh, besides boy. underpants, which is he's not joking, by the way. Uh, the yeah. uh, oddest thing I found in a, a vending machine in Japan, specifically. Uh, let's see. Uh, I have, of course, seen the underpants ones. Uh, I have seen um, sunglasses. Disgusting. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um, what glasses? Uh, Sunglasses. Sunglasses? That's odd. Mm-hmm. In vending machines? In in a vending machine? Wouldn't you think so? No, uh, really. It, it's strange, no, but it's, it, it makes it's sense. It's nowhere so. near the underwear thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Under, used underwear is odd. Sunglasses is not odd. <laughs> uh, let's see. I have seen uh, very small dildos. Uh, oh, okay, that is okay. odd. Okay, okay. Most okay. real ones and candy ones. Can, um, can you okay. Do okay, now my kids can't watch this. I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, what, what, was Dildo he, the uh, crossing line for your kids watching this after all the other things we've discussed? <laughs> well, Sorry, I, 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 I I'm just being honest answering the I question. I apologize to all my friends and family who are watching this stream right now. Sorry, but you know, it, it, it's Japan. You can find those kind of things. Um, well, to be honest, uh, my kids are 17 and 23, so I guess it's okay. Oh, my God. There you go. <laughs> then why the f- <laughs> videos um but uh, i i actually hear that that had done but it was done in the west as well you could actually do some kind of video renting out of a video uh, a vending machine I yeah we call them red uh, box okay yeah, yeah you can do it here yeah yeah but yeah it, you know the weird thing though uh the, the the majority of vending machines here will either sell uh drinks you know sodas and stuff like that or cigarettes right what you don't okay. see is vending machines that have snacks which for us really? is really what yeah, it's weird. What really? that be common? Wow. Nope. Nope. I've seen ramen. Um, I've seen sandwiches. Uh, but I have yeah. never seen actual snacks. No candy. No candy. That, yeah. that, wow, that, that, that is bizarre. That, that, that literally is bizarre. It is bizarre, yeah. Man, I should have asked what you should have seen, what you haven't seen. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. Um, but uh, actually, the Japanese aren't. Uh, the Japanese approach to candy is a bit different from us in the West. It's uh, it's not really something that an uh, adult will eat much. This isn't really a candy culture. They're more than likely to have some dried squid or something ra- over some uh, sugar. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm just saying. I think the nukes got to them, man. <laughs> And you wonder why that hasn't caught on here in the States. Because hmm. we haven't Fuck been this. nuked enough. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Well, oh, it might have caught uh, on in Hawaii. I know a man eats dried octopus. It's not bad. I know that. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh. Um, oh, March no. Harris says, I'm from the Carolinas, Chester, and I've worked in the tobacco fields. Well, when my father's family first came over to the oh, Americas, they actually were tobacco uh, farmers, actually. Seriously, because you hit that 
Um, no, your business says uh, it's bypassing the tobacco and going straight to the chemicals. And I guess I, I don't know the whole the vaping scene. I think is what he's talking about. Import restrictions due to pests. Maybe um, I, I think it has more to do with uh, money than anything as far as the, the ban on vaping. But uh, they'll probably raise it eventually. Uh, Model three seems to think we eat scorpions on a stick, even though I've never seen a scorpion in Japan. John Dillard says, Elric, I feel you. Like you, I also have inferior genes cursing me with asthma and my inner ear medicine and triple thick glasses also prevent me from smoking. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Goodness gracious. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have seen roasted water beetles in vending machines in Thailand. Yeah, so oh, have wow. I do. Uh, well, I don't know about those things, but I've seen th weird things in Thailand vending machines, yeah. Um, hmm. But I love Thailand, though. It's a wonderful place. Mm -hmm. I do suggest it. Why? Oh, killer food, dude. Very, very friendly, nice people. Uh, lots of art, lots of entertainment shows. Uh, Thailand is a good, fun place, dude. Mm. Mm. Let's see. I mean, if you go to Asia, you're safe pretty much anywhere you go. And Asians are pretty hospitable in general. But I, I, I think the Thai are probably the most kind and friendly people you're going to find in Asia. They're really nice people. Chester, I'll be right back. Yeah, sure, dude. Uh, Jude uh, says, uh, when was the last time uh, he was in the U.S.? Does he not know about Blockbuster? <laughs> I... Um, I know I don't. I heard they closed. Is there some more information that I need? They uh, uh, put he... it down like the dog in Old Yeller. Did they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, Corona says, uh, I've eaten squid tentacles that were battered at a restaurant. My dad, I was young, said they were battered french fries. Lol. Like, it's not bad, dude. Uh, calamari's good. Um, politicians are the pest. Yes, yes, politics. Mm hmm uh, such a sickly boy. Oh, goodness. Uh, oh, I'm back. Did Booster win yet? No, 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 not yet. No, not just give me a, just give me a little while longer. Nope. March says, Uh, you want an insane nicotine buzz? Uh, pull tobacco, it gets insane. I don't, I, I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, but, um, okay. Oh, I see. We are picking, do not picking endorse tobacco. drugs on this stream. Now he's talking about picking into the field, I guess, getting the uh, getting the nicotine on his finger, the tar on his fingers. Oh my oh, god, yeah. nasty! Uh, Asuka says Chester was only there for the lady boys. Well, actually, I was there on my honeymoon, but uh, hey, yeah. oh boy. Um, oh, boy. does your wife know? <laughs> I, you would think she would. Uh, March here says I still want to visit Japan. I want Godzilla bootlegs. Why? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Uh, is pokey not popular? It is, dude. It's a little, it's basically a pretzel, uh, a stick pretzel with a little bit of chocolate on it. It is. Uh, it's a, it kind of kids eat it. Hmm. Um, da, da, da. All right, okay. cool. I put up to the chat. All right. If we go over here and just, I'm going to just be going down the road, uh, row and just having the art up so you guys can see it and I'll just switch along the way. Uh, but uh, yeah, Zorro uh, here is coming right along. Uh, we are about coming up on 30 minutes uh, left, a little about 37 minutes left. Uh, so we've had a really interesting show. Uh, we see some interesting Zorro things going on. Unfortunately, we couldn't talk about Zero, Zorro so much because, well, there's not much to say. He is Zorro. This is true. He's yeah. uh, cool in Mexican. He is cool in Mexican, and you promised to have some impressions, which we haven't heard at all. I did it at the beginning of the show, Pendejo. Okay, thank you. Anyway, uh, but um, uh, Zora was a really cool uh, memory from my youth, really. I think this is something when I was a kid. Uh, and uh, the Manderas movies were really good as well. And uh, Art Tiber is just coming in. He says, nice work, guys. Well, thank you very much, Art. Uh, oh, we're just going you. down I'm the sure line he means here. Me. He does. He's coming down the line here, letting he's everybody he's see the artist. We continue talking. Uh, we have Mike in here from Blacklist Universe. He says, he's the original Batman. He is, dude. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yep. Or we could say Robin Hood was, but that's cool. Um, March Hare continues. Now. Yeah. Uh, March Hare continues. says, uh, you don't pick tobacco. You prime all, uh, you prime or pull tobacco. 
It's a silly thing, but the old timers take it very seriously. All right, dude. All right. Uh, when you pull tobacco leaves, they uh, seep a clear, stick, uh, sticky sap, I guess he's trying to say, and it absorbs into your skin. Wonderful, dude. That sounds like the best job ever. Do you wear, do you wear gloves? I hope you do. All right. So, Booster, how are you doing over there with your MS Paint uh, geniusness? I'm doing beautifully. Thank you. Look at it. Look at this handsome pussy. Oh. Cat. <laughs> You look at him, he's friggin' happy. He got the inks happy. on him, and he, he looks like he's gonna uh, poke someone with his rapier. I, I, I was kind of curious, though, Booster. Why mm -hmm. is your rapier bent? Because they're wobbly. Are they? Mm -hmm. right. A rapier? I don't even know you. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> ah! God, that hurt. Um, no. I do apologize to everybody. Uh, Booster uh, is uh, not something you let out in public very often, but uh, here we are. Uh, mm -hmm. RTBS and Zoro were my favorite. out yeah. of my cage to draw the cat. <laughs> I think you're upsetting RT Barry. He says, yikes. Uh, <laughs> and, and Mike says, a rapier wit. He does not have. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that is just the way it is. Uh, March Air is continuing with his conversation about his uh, tobacco pulling days. Uh, yes, uh, you. Uh, so, yeah, most people wear long gloves and uh, long gloves and long sleeves. Yeah, it sounds like it, dude. I didn't know anything about that. I've never picked tobacco. How about you, Booster? Do you pick a lot of tobacco down in New Zealand? No. Oh, do you mean me personally or do you mean the... Uh... No, you personally. Yes, you. Yeah. No, 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 I don't do that at all. Well, you, maybe you should. You need a job, you said. Yeah, I'm getting one, Chester. Okay. I thought this was my job. I'm still waiting on my paycheck. Uh, I promise nothing, and I shall not promise anything. No, no, ah, definitely. crap. <laughs> <laughs> we need Boost Booster on the Pro Edition. Are you sure, Ab Joshua? You absolutely. Really sure? I'm, yeah. I'm, sure, uh, I'm sure Mike Miller will love that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he will cut all ties with us immediately if uh, I came on. He just, he just, he just made a sexual assault joke. Keep that in mind, okay? All right. Um, I did not. Yes, you did. I made All a right. rapier joke. <laughs> Goodness Same Christ. thing. Same, Same thing. Same thing. Uh, we over here, I, as you, as you guys know, I'm just moving down the line as we talk and just letting see the art here to there. Because as we know, most of these guys tend not to talk a lot uh, because they're sorry focused about on their drawing. Oh no We're problem. Focused. Very sorry. Very sorry. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 dude. No problem much here. It is actually interesting. I, I've never, I don't know anything about picking tobacco, so it's uh, pretty cool to uh, hear some of the little things of it. And I kind of imagine all jobs have their little quirks and interesting points, I would say. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm sure, sure if you were to do it, you, ugh, Chester, you'd pick it up easy enough. I'm sure I would. I am capable of menial tasks. Thank you, Rick. Oh, boy. He missed it, I think. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> um, but actually, uh, as I had said, March Air, uh, when my father's family first came to the Americas, they actually got into the uh, tobacco business. So um, mm. my family does have a bit of history with that. Mm. Excellent. <laughs> Jude is uh, protesting you, Booster. He's saying that uh, he can't even draw Zorro. Puss in Boots is not Zorro. Well, uh, certainly the Puss in Boots in the uh, Shrek movies are inspired by Zorro, and I don't know if they had intended that before. Was, but He was voiced they, by Antonio Banderas. It was all planned. That's, I, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, but I do love the Puss in Boots character, and uh, Antonio Banderas did a wonderful job. It was absolutely cool. Yes. Uh, Mike uh, says pros can talk smack and draw at the same time. Yes, they can. Hmm. You are you know right. What I can't Mike. do is put a show on time. Ooh, goodness. That's <laughs> shade. Shade. If, Not even sideways, if just if right they, at you. If they could, we'd be hearing it. We haven't lately. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> Mandy says, hey, Mike, that was an awesome Emma Frost last night. <laughs> Actually, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, she uh, not she the, uh, what's it called? Red <laughs> Sonia. Sonia, Red Sonia. Yeah. 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 You know, I really, 
yes, Abe Stevens says enough of the tobacco talk. Is there witch hags uh, that walk around? I don't know what that means, but I agree. Okay, okay. Uh, Puss in Boots is, uh, is from uh, uh, 1697. Yeah, it is a very old character. NASA <laughs> Roboti is here. Have a bad day. Tell me a joke to cheer me up. He's having a bad day, Booster. Help him out. Come on, you got to help the Nasser. Oh, uh, um, oh, crap. I put you on the spot. You, I, 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 I hired you to be funny. And, and, and what are you doing? Uh, uh, you, you, free. you can't just say, hey, tell me a joke. <laughs> oh, no. You scared me. Oh, no. You're uh, not paying yeah. him enough to be funny. Yes, of course, but when NASA comes over here, we give him nothing but love because he is safe here. This is a safe space. This is a safe uh, space. I, 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 I know a joke. Tell a second. I a joke. You have a joke. a joke. Please tell also us about it. a hilarious yeah. joke. <laughs> what, what do you call a person who breaks into someone's home, steals something, and then runs out quickly? Okay, I don't know. What do you call <laughs> someone who goes into a home and steals something and <laughs> runs out quickly? Yeah. Uh, an in and out burglar. Oh, what? <laughs> I get what? it. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I, uh, I think there's a place oh, called In and Out Burger. I think this is. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, I'll yeah. kick him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. Mike, Mike would get that joke. He oh, lives goodness. near those places. Rick, Rick is just mean today. Yeah, I don't know who who get, who put the uh, the yeah. pepper in his oatmeal, but uh, you know Rick is just all upset and causing all kinds of trouble today. He's just being mean. I do apologize. He's usually better behaved. Uh, <laughs> hey, we got the Ryan Carlin in here. Hey, how you doing, dude? Nice to see you. Hey, like I uh, said, I Cardinal? always behave. <laughs> yeah, the Ryan Cardinal. He did a My great goodness. job, man. He... Yeah, the Ryan Cardinal. The Ryan yeah. Cardinal, the only Mike. one. Uh, Nasser Rabadi is in here, uh, and he's uh, he's commenting on that joke, and he said it was a little funny. I hope it made you feel better, dude. I hope I hope it feel makes your heart feel good, Nasser. Uh, exactly. Uh, the Ryan Carlos seems to have a problem with dad jokes. What's wrong with dad jokes? Huh? Dads are people yeah. too. What are you, mm -hmm. you a sexist or something? Goodness gracious. <laughs> Uh, J Pod yeah. Studios in here. He says, "Booster, can you tell us a joke, Nasser? I cannot. Okay, all right. Yeah, we oh tried, and Nasser uh, and Booster failed completely. Uh, so yeah. that's what it is." Mm -hmm. Uh, Mike says, I get it, it's just not funny. I unfortunately have to agree. Uh, where's Jiminy Cricket? He's right in here, guys. I'm uh, going right down the list here and letting everybody have a time to see each one as we go by. Um, and uh, we are sitting here on 28 minutes left, guys. 28 minutes. Um, and uh, JP4 says, Rick is Canadian. He is always that way. Yeah, well, yeah. it's true. You can't help it. Just, just give him your pity, please. And hey, uh, Canadians always behave. It's no. It's just no. a question of whether it's good or bad. Uh, no, I, I, I think we'd be all, all better off without Canadians in general, uh, particularly that Justin Trudeau guy. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can kick him down to the states. How could you say something so brave in this chat, Chester? How could I? Well, because as we all know, the leader of your country represents what everyone in your country thinks, and therefore you can judge a country by their leader, as we all know. Absolutely. Yes, as we all know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At least we know Nasser isn't having girl problems. <laughs> Jeez, guys. Oh, God. Yeah. Cool, man. Poor Nasser. Got to give some love to Nasser, man. He gets so much sla flack everyone else, he uh, everywhere else. He needs the love here, guys. He does. He needs, he needs yeah, justice for Nasser. Give him some smooches, He's boys. He's trying to assimilate us. Now, He's trying to uh, assimilate. Uh, uh, Booster, we do have a request here. Oh, yes. And I'll let you judge it. Uh, JP4 yeah. says, how about some more lightsaber stories, Chester? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Oh, yeah, I think you should. Uh, no, I wouldn't because I think I think Mike would get very upset with me. Oh, then why did you ask me? Because I thought it was funny. Did you thought I would say no? Is that what you wanted an out because yes, you don't want to say I, no? Kind of thought you were going to pay attention, but you know. Oh, I was uh, paying attention, and I loved your lightsaber story. Yeah. <laughs> it is God. a good story. It's one of those great stories uh, uh, that's uh, uh, because it's all true. It's an know? epic story. It is an yeah, epic yeah. tale of love and romance. An espionage. 
Now, if you guys are interested in what we're talking about, what you need to do is go over to Good Dog Press, uh, Manny's channel. And uh, Manny runs an X-rated channel where people talk about he absolutely does. amazing harsh and hardcore people just come onto his channel and just say the most awful things and manny loves it he loves it when you go onto his channel as a guest and say awful awful things especially regarding immigrants so you should all go to good dog chris and just say terrible things no that's actually actually rick rick is kind of the immigrant immigrant guy to be honest (laughs) Um, but abe sapien here says have you seen ganguro girls in your school town uh your town more likely to see that in tokyo uh dude that is absolutely tokyo um Joshua thinks we need to eradicate Canadians. That ain't nice. Uh, yes, that is brutal. Well, hey, Trek Lady C. Whoa, hating on Canada is real. Lol. Hey, guys. Yeah, of course we hate on Canada. Uh, they're Blame so easy, Canada. Right? Blame Canada. <laughs> uh, that was up with uh, what's up with uh, Justin Trudeau's fake eyebrows. Anyone see that? Uh, no, dude. We saw it. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's right. Be yeah. nice. Chester is an immigrant. You're right, Mike. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell him, well, dude, don't leave me hanging. Hey, tell me about the this fake uh, hashtag fake uh, eyebrows. What's going on? Well, I think it was during like the, in France, maybe during the G20 summit. He was being uh-huh. interviewed, and his fake eye- eyebrows were kind of flapping while he was talking to this. Uh, that that inter- is hilarious. Why would he have fake eyebrows? That's he's odd. been wearing them for. He's been wearing them for. What did he burn them off or something? It's a very vain individual, I suppose. Ma- male pattern baldness. I don't know. Well, we do know he's an idiot. Um, so yeah. Well, he's with yeah. El Castro's son, so you know. <laughs> allegedly, 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 probably, oh, most likely, most likely, definitely. <laughs> But allegedly, all, all signs point to yes. Indubitably. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Signs checks uh, out to me. Yeah, well, you know. Um, but uh, guys, we are getting down to the wire here. We have exactly 23 minutes left, and uh, we're going to be seeing uh, these things in full. And of course, Booster is creating the uh, uh, straw poll. Of course, as we know, it won't be mm-hmm. very interesting because uh, Booster is not very interesting, but it is what it is. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> uh, this has been a lot of fun, and of course, I I do I did notice those little dangling balls, Hill Elric. I see it, I see it. You're not getting it past me. But uh, those are supposed to. He has those, right? Uh, no, that would be Zoro the Gay Blade you're drawing, and which is what? fine by me. I, I have no problem with that. He <laughs> <laughs> erases Seriously. it. <laughs> What's wrong? He gave he gave Zoro some balls. Oh goodness, Rick. Oh my god. <sighs> I do apologize, guys, but this is a PG thirteen show and occasionally things come up. But the good thing about it was that Booster got the one allowed F bomb out of the way in the very beginning, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Mm, I, I did. I was I was very uh, I used it very well. He did, yes. I used it responsibly. And that's all we ask. That's all we mm-hmm. ask. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, guys, we've got 47 people in here. Uh, we do appreciate you guys, uh, of course, hitting that share button, uh, even though we're toward the end, would certainly be helpful to get more people in here for that vote, you know. Uh, but uh, as we always do, we do ask that you hit that like button and subscribe, please. That is uh, very useful for us to help grow our channel and uh, make this bigger and bigger. Uh, because the uh, Order is certainly one of the coolest things going on in the community, I would say. Uh, I'd love to see these arts. Yesterday, the Pro Edition was really good. That was hard to vote, yeah? I mean, there was some yeah. really good pieces yesterday, and unlike Doug uh, to Naples, which we'll never speak about again. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was very unchristlike, I must say. It was unchristlike. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't believe Mike allowed that, man. That was so bad. Yeah, I, I was surprised at Mike. I was, I was very bit. shocked. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> yeah, you and I were in we in the chat, right, trying to deal yeah. with the. The responses mm-hmm, yeah. to it, because that's the thing. Every time those guys go on Mike's show and someone's, you know, like usually it's usually John Malin, let's be fair. Uh, but those guys go on and say something crass or something. The chat just wants to blow up and copy it. And then he, but he, uh, you know, his responsibility is to not let it happen. And then yeah. everyone please, yells please at us. Be nice to us. Your mods. Well, yeah, because they're hating us for doing our job. 
You, you right. have no idea how tough mods have it and how much flack they get for doing their job. Please yeah, be nice man. to your yeah, mods. No <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, well, it is what it is, right? Yes. <laughs> But I was surprised by that. That was really harsh. And then, of course, Ellis Goodman coming with that that secondary comment that just made it so much worse, man. I missed that. Right. What did he say? Oh, I'm oh, not no. gonna. I'm not gonna repeat it, dude. I'm not gonna repeat that. That way, it made it so much worse, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah I just yeah. heard everybody groaning. I missed that. Part, so. Oh my! <laughs> I'm kind of glad we'll I didn't. We'll tell you later, maybe. Yeah, maybe. You don't Maybe. need to know. Don't, I, can, I can live a long, happy, fruitful life without ever knowing, so it's all right. It's, no, it's right. Well, there you go. Stick with that. Yeah. Live in Mike ignorance. Says, Mike says, Doug has shamed us all. Yes, he has. Yeah, yes, he, he has. has. <laughs> He's shamed us all at the same time. But the thing that that's not the worst part, though. The worst part is he won. He won. Yeah, yep. that was hilarious. I was cracking up. As, I mean, soon, as soon as the poll went up, he was he was already up like twenty points above everyone else. As soon as you put that poll up, no, March here. I'm not. What did he do? Did he take that to weird fetish community? Is that where I he put the poll? Don't oh know, dude. God. I don't know what happened. Um, it was a good piece of art, actually. That's something that shocks me about. It was Doug, very dude. good. It was, it was very good. Because when you see his Earthworm Jim or his Bigfoot Bill, you think, ah, oh, that's not the greatest art. And then you see him actually do art. Art. He's really good. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Um, he's very talented. Yes, he is. Yeah. Now he I personally me a lot of uh, Alfonso Espiri, if you guys know that artist. No, I don't. Uh, what yeah. does he do? Does a lot of. Uh, he's got a, a very European style, of course, and um, does a lot of pretty girls. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there's nothing wrong with that. Nope. Yeah. But uh, in 2019, <laughs> no less. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm enjoying this piece you got going on, Adrian. It's cool. Uh, but um, yeah, no. Uh, but uh, for me, personally, there was really, really good pieces. I mean, Mike's was really good. I mean, they all were really good. Uh, Mike but was I, fantastic. it was fantastic, dude. Uh, but I actually thought that uh, Matthew Weldon's uh, piece mm. was just wow, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah, that kind of blew me away. It was. Uh, it reminded me a lot of Charles Vess. Mm. Uh, yes. if you familiar with him yeah, yeah, yeah. Vess and but, Russell. Uh, very right yeah, yeah very linear just delicate lines just beautiful very organic great work yeah and actually i think vess and paul craig russell are both um mm. yep kind of, of them. yeah and, and mike is even saying he voted for I mean, well uh yeah. matt's piece yeah it was really good yeah oh. mm. um all right, guys. Now, I've been going through while we're just chat uh, chatting, making sure everybody's getting seen. Uh, but what I'm going to do now until the end is I'm just going to take the white box off, and I'm going to let it just roam as uh, as normal, okay? okay. Um, how, long do, how long do we have? Uh, we are sitting on exactly 17 minutes. 17 now, minutes, guys. Nice. Yes, wow. out. But it looks to me like everyone's actually going to have a completed piece tonight, which is really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I beg to differ. I hope so. I don't know. <laughs> I beg to differ. That doesn't give me confidence, man. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I'm, going to spend about, I'm going to spend 50 minutes to make a very fluffy cat. Can I ask you a question, Booster? Why does your Puss in Boots look like he has a butt for a face? Um, what do you mean? Well, it looks like butt hair on his face. What? He's fluffy. <laughs> That's not how it reads. Dude. No, it doesn't. Look really. how fluffy he is. Oh, like don't you want to pet that? Don't you want to pet that putty cat? No, I. I'm afraid it has mange oh, and, and, and fleas. I, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it does actually look like he's infected in something. I have to remind you. It absolutely does. Control Z. <laughs> Control Z. <laughs> 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 Shift that four. Shift that four. Well, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't or say that he looked all. like a butt. A butt like a butt, but it looks like somebody shaved the cat's head. Maybe it's really horrible. But it's okay. Yeah, that booster does his best with his MS paint. You know, he is the master of MS paint, as you all know. And, um, oh, I hate some bros. Oh, look at this! <laughs> look at this! J Pot Studio says, "Have to admit." Doug is a whiz with the brush. Oh, dude. Uh, really? He is. Uh, no. Oh, no. Well, you're in for, when Doug draws, real, you're in for a good, good show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, boy. 
You're in trouble now. I have cramps. I have cramps. Well, yeah. When you usually, when Doug usually draws, you're not pissed off. Oh, oh God. God. All right, just end the show. Just listen to yes, this. That's it. We're going to have to end it. Sorry, folks. Sorry yeah. to show me up, but it's, it's yeah. done. No one votes. No one wins. I Everyone win. loses today. Everyone Every- loses. True. The whole make world. Any win. Win. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, and uh, Comics Legends uh, says that uh, me too. Matt Weldon reminds me of Steve uh, McNiven uh, when he was uh, over at CrossGen. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I see that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, March here says, uh, uh, which one is yours, Tracy Psychic? And uh, we've been showing them all along. We'll come back uh, here a little bit and we'll make sure everyone sees everyone's and knows exactly who's is who's. Uh, but I will put that up real quick. Uh, this right here is Tracy Psychic. Yes. And his camera's working well now, which is good. Yeah, well, it's sitting on a box of frozen food, so should be good to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, man. Solutions. <laughs> Solutions. Hope, right. hope it doesn't defrost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to eat this sausage immediately after the show. (laughs) Wait, it's been almost two hours, right? Yep. Those aren't good sausages. Mm. Well, no, (laughs) it hasn't been on there all that time. (laughs) (laughs) Doesn't gone bad yet. Hey, this looks like Doug's cat talking about Booster's uh, Puss and Boots. I agree. (laughs) Is that a good thing or a bad thing? No, I'm sure it's very bad. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, Hey, Jester. Yeah. Could you remember to send me the straw polls so I can vote for the for myself? The only vote I will get. <laughs> I most certainly do. I will remember. Thank you. It is my you job to both. remember. Thank you very much. You and do you need both. me to take a picture this time or no? No, I think you're fine. Uh, the only person who was really having a problem was Trusty Psychic, but now that he is freezing down his phone with sausages, uh, he is fine. <laughs> Okay, there's a joke there, but I'm not going for it. <laughs> yeah, please don't, Rick. Please, please, please. Uh, Asuka says, uh, when life gives you lemons, Doug makes lemonade. <sighs> this is what I have to deal with, Booster. You see this? You see this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is horrible. So what are, you gonna, what are you going to do about your horrible shaved cat? I'm just curious. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think I fixed it a little. When life gives you lemonades, don't make lemonade. Beat someone up and then rub it in their wounds. That's just, that, that's violent. That's violent. I think you need to go talk to your mother. <laughs> or Pearl Is that wisdom from the book of Dwight Schrute? I don't know, dude. Maybe. <laughs> yes, uh, Jude, but I think... Oh, should I show or hide that booster? What do you think? Uh, I'll do it for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the decision has been made. I do apologize, everybody. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Boy, I gotta check this out. There's naughty uh, people in chat. How dare Very they? they which, mod didn't, which mod didn't allow <laughs> that to get by? Of course not. <laughs> The, the mods are not doing their job as it comes to it. Oh, goodness gracious, Test Monkey. It is funny, though. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, it looks, like uh, looks like something out of uh, oh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. It's true. Uh, but uh, we're sitting on 12 minutes, guys. Just keep in mind that uh, when we get down to the finish, we're going to show everybody's art one more time and make sure you know whose is whose. And the booster is going to drop that straw poll. We're going to have our vote, and we're going to find oh, our champion. And, of course, our champion does what, Booster? What What does the champion here get? They get a sexual date with Booster. <sighs> yes, I do think you and I need to go over your contract later. Uh um, huh? <laughs> I think there shall be adjustments, Booster. No, I think, the winner. I think everybody won to lose if that's a surprise. <laughs> that's true, yeah. I think uh, we would see much less uh, skill for art going on. But no, of course, the prize here is they get to go over and get a seat on the Pro Edition, where they get to sit down with some absolutely amazing artists, and occasionally an absolute legend will come in as well. Um, okay. Including well, the host, of course. Including Most the host. of them are okay. I don't know. I'd say most of them are really good, actually. Um, yeah. yeah. But uh, so we, definitely, 
Well, you definitely get Mike over there. You get Ethan over there. And occasionally, although it's been a while, we get RT Bear, which mm. is a wow, right? And uh, Hart needs to come back. He needs to, but he's real busy with his uh, his black and white project. Actually, I, uh, you know, he's, he's uh, working on that. Vote for our... he, he could take two hours off. He could, he could, he could, uh, but but uh, yeah, it's just, it's awesome to see her over there. And uh, of course, I know that Mike has uh, hinted at getting maybe some other even uh, uh, you know real big names like that. Uh, and hopefully, this year, two thousand nineteen, we'll, we'll we will see some really cool people show up and surprise us. You know, so uh, good luck to you, Mike. Frag work work back. hard. Work hard. I want Frag go back. Uh, Dan Fraga, yeah, that was a pretty good piece, man. That was awesome. Yeah, Dan Friday yeah, was well, awesome. Nice surprise yeah, too. Huh? He's amazing. Yep. Yep. But I know that Mike had talked had mentioned he talked to Rob La, uh, uh, Liefeld and uh, uh, cool. but you know there's there was lots of people in the in the uh, uh, that Mike uh, surely knows uh, him mm-hmm. uh, between him and Ethan. I'm sure there's a ton of people who can get in. Um, I think I'm hoping that Mike will bring in uh, Ben Shapiro. Hey Ben, yeah, let's see what he's got now. Huh? Actually, we should be make, ben make, make okay, show, gang. Mike. This uh, this picture isn't that good. Okay, look, <laughs> look my wife's a doctor, and uh, yeah, <laughs> he does say that a lot, doesn't he? Mm. He loves to mention how his wife's okay. a doctor. <laughs> but I, I like Ben I like Shapiro that. destroys professional artists with effects and logic. Now here's the <laughs> super effective. Ben, here's the That'll thing, be awesome. thing about Ben. A lot of people say they expect Ben to get into politics in America one day. And, of course, you know, he maybe he will. But I actually think that dude might end up, like, as in the politics over in, in Israel, maybe even the boss one day. I think that's where he's yeah. going. I don't think he's going to move toward America. You think America. so? I think so, dude. He's going to be the next, next Bubby? Well, well no, yeah. He, yeah, I do. Because th- look at this. When you see him, he goes to Israel quite a bit. And when he, right. I've seen it several times when he gets off the the airplane, I, I've seen clips of it. Uh, who's uh-huh. there greeting him? Is, is he? The, is it mm-hmm. not uh-huh. there? That not that Yahoo? Yahoo, Yahoo, and other big names are meeting him at the plane, meeting yeah. him at the plane. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, Ben Shapiro way. is not nothing when it comes to Israel, dude. And I just right, have yeah. a feeling he's being groomed for something. Ooh. Maybe, but I think there's more. There's more fame and money for him here, you know? Yeah, but does Where, he want fame uh, and money or does he want power? I don't think he wants power. I mean, other than other than influence. I mean, I, I don't see Ben Shapiro as being someone who's like, oh, I want to control like a country or something. No, you yeah. never know. That, could, that might be true. I just feel that I, because of the way they treat yeah, okay. him. He's like their, no, their favorite son, you know? Yeah. I don't know exactly well, maybe, what none of your business is talking about with Kelsey Shannon, but uh, sure, Kelsey Shannon deserves all the back rubs he can get. Why not? I, I think it's much more likely that they just want Ben Shapiro to endorse their comic books. So maybe that's true. Well, that's yeah. that, that's much more possible. likely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Uh, John Diller Game the System says, Chester, I am so proud of the brave Rick Piper. When life gave him potato hands, he just taped a pencil to them and showed us all how to pre- persevere. So brave. So brave. So brave. So brave. So brave. <laughs> My little boy. He's all grown up. Goodness gracious. Um, <laughs> John's got it in for Rick tonight, huh? I don't know what it is. You guys are funny. What, what did he do to him? Well, well, Rick is a traitor. We know that. Well, we know, well, that's where to be. I'm stone. not the traitor. You are you absolutely traitor. a traitor. You betrayed I your vote country. For the, I vote for the fan <laughs> champ every week. That's funny. <laughs> Mike comes up and uh, it says, "Did you guys hear that Ben Shapiro endorsed Lone Star? We did, dude. <laughs> we did. <laughs> he did. Yeah, it's oh not like we talk about it all that's, the time, buddy. That's amazing. Mike, tell yeah. us more." <laughs> All jokes aside, though, that is really oh, no. cool. It's it really is. awesome. It really yeah. The, que- oh. the question isn't, Mike, whether we've heard of it. The question is, do we care? Oh, yeah, we care. oh no. Okay. All right, John, we- just give him more. He deserves it. He's been like that all night. He's been sitting here being mean. Mean spirited Canadians. I tell you, these I'm damn not- Canadians, man. you got to watch out for them. They're just Canadian. rude. They are, it's dude. You know, my grandmother warned me about those damn Canucks, you know. She warned me. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we are sitting here with six minutes left. Six minutes here. We got 48 people in here. We do appreciate you guys. Uh, we're going to be having our voting come up real soon. So uh, definitely stick around for that. And we'll see who the winner is. And uh, there are some really cool pieces here. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, what do you think, Booster? Who's Who's got the lead here so far, you think? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I trust Booster's judgment. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Me too. Yeah. <laughs> That's just no. my unbiased opinion. Comment. Well, I, I stand am biased. Booster. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god, you're so nice. <laughs> uh, Mike says, if he brings up the War of 1812, boot him. I agree, dude. I absolutely agree. Uh, JP4 <laughs> oh, says... <laughs> Uh, JP4 says, Chester, my grandmother always said, keep it in your pants. <laughs> what? J what? What has he been on about today? I don't know, because I Kick said my, my mother, my grandmother warned me about the Canucks. You know, I was making a joke uh, at Rick's expense. Uh, but JP, for some reason, <laughs> has some other grandmotherly advice to share with us. Uh, but I would say it's probably uh, good advice. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm. Five minutes, guys. You going to be done? Is everybody going to be done? It looks like it. Well, I, maybe not everybody. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe not everybody. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> maybe not everybody. Hopefully, everybody will. Though. Yeah. My my goal is to just get more than one vote. So vote for Jiminy Cricket. There you go. Same. Vote for Elric Huga. Maybe I'll vote today, actually, and I'll make sure you oh, get no. two. How's that? So Elric gets two, I only get one? That's not fair. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to give you two, <laughs> Of course, you are my senpai. I have to vote for you. Oh, okay, cool. Because if you don't, I'll toss you out of the dojo. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I do. Oh, I, I, I know my, my marching orders. You'll be banned. You'll be banned. Yeah. Oh. You'll never weird. learn the secret moves, the secret moves oh. of our uh, of our dojo. I want to know a secret move. <laughs> no. You I don't even know about this dojo. No but secret I move, sir. I want one secret move. <laughs> no. Oh, oh my god! Now I'm jealous. Um, yeah, we should. Be. I still want to know why your rapier is bent. Because your rapier is bent. <laughs> oh, impetus. Maybe it's genetic. It might be. It might be. Some of them are crooked occasionally. I see. Look, my reference—it's <laughs> all like that. Okay, so it's a straight rapier. Is it? <laughs> Listen, my <laughs> reference. <laughs> Looks well, more I like would, a katana. Well, what I would suggest, uh, uh, Booster, is quick banging it against stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my suggestion, anyway. Oh, <laughs> Marcia says, "My grandmother never told me what is so. I will. I still swear." Parachute pants, uh, because I need all of the pockets. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. Hmm. So, you know, enlighten us, uh, March here. Uh, we have three minutes left, guys. Let's see. Uh, Joe Maroney says, I first produced my pistol and then produced my rapier. <laughs> I said, "Stand and deliver, or the devil he may take you." Now, anybody know what that song is? Oh yeah, yeah. And a man yeah. in a jar. Whiskey yeah. in the jar. Oh, by Mid Metallica. Uh, yeah. Well, that's Metallica. not where it's originally from. But originally the, uh, by Metallica. Old... I know that song. <laughs> old song. Yeah. yeah that's that's a good, good, old song. Song. good old Irish. Uh, good. Good dog press just had Whiskey a just started the stream. Oh, my gosh. Did you see What'd the you title say? of Good Dog Stream just now? No, I didn't. Yeah. It's what Red Sonia. Zorro, really? Skunk Girl no play. <laughs> Thanks, Manny. <laughs> oh. He always does that. He makes sure he starts his stream before we're actually done. He does it intentionally every time. Man. He's trying to steal all our uh, views. He is, dude. Himself. He does it a lot. He's just mean-spirited. Mm -hmm. uh, the Homeless Herbal says, Booster... Kiwi, your drawing is going to give me nightmares. Yes, dude. What? Yeah, I agree. Look, he's adorable. Look oh, at him. He looks oh. like a Fight at the Freddy's character. <laughs> it what? Does. He's fluffy. I want to pet him. I would I would give him. I would not want to be pet by anything oh. by you. 
I understand oh, now what March here. Uh, my grandmother you. never told me what it is. So you look as fluffy as a pants. rock. I get it. Oh my god. Everyone's well, a critic. rocks are fluffy, but they tend to hurt when you throw them at people. Very good point. Mm. None of your business. Whiskey in the jar. Thin Lizzie, nineteen seventy one. Mm -hmm. mm. Excellent bit of information. Thin Lizzie mm. was a good band too. Mm. Nah. Yeah. Okay, guys, we'll come down to a minute. We're going to be done. Then we're going to do our straw poll and our vote. And then uh, uh, everybody can then ignore Manny's channel altogether. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His channel's a bit rubbish, to be honest. It is. It is. It is. Yeah. I'll go over and I'll tell some more of my uh, stripper to story time stories. So mm -hmm. make him happy. That, that will definitely get him uh, happy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> I uh, thought he was gonna have a stroke the fro uh, the first time I told, it, especially the bottle one. Woo! Oh yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I got finished. I finished. You did. Me dude. too. All right, guys, here we go. Five, four, three, two. One. Pencils down, pencils down. All right, everybody, wow. we've come to the end of the contest. Uh, we've seen some uh, very interesting Zoros up here, and you guys will decide which one you like best. Uh, so before Booster drops that straw poll, I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to let you all see them nice and close up. Uh, so let me go ahead and uh, put up Trusty Sidekick first. Uh, it is nice and clear, so don't worry about uh, – you don't have to send a, send a picture to me, dude. It's, it's crystal clear, actually. It's beautiful. Okay, good. Um, so this right here is Trusty Sidekick's piece. Very nice, Zoro. Very nice indeed. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Trusty Sidekick, everybody. Trusty Sidekick. Uh, then we're coming up next to uh, McCrank. This is McCrank's uh, Zoro offer he has for us today. Uh, you, so you decided not to put the background in, huh? Yeah, uh, I gave up. I gave up on this piece. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> very, very confident, Benji. Yeah, positivity there, McCrank. Positivity. Yeah, everybody I, misses I, McCranks. I messed up in the start, and I should have started over, but I went with a disaster. So oh, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> so we're having fun, dude. All right, moving on here to the absolutely not finished piece from uh, Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy, look at it. It's amazing. It's absolutely not finished. It's absolutely not finished. So. But nope, uh, yeah, that, I'll, finish, that I'll finish it up, and hopefully it will uh, it will all come together. But hmm. you do That's realize you shoot, and man. Todd are making a trend, right? I'm sorry. You and Todd are making a trend, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, uh, I'm not finishing trend. I'm, I'm, yes. I'm more about doing something well than doing it super fast. So I have to work on my speed. Ooh, so, yeah. There we go. Yeah. A, well, a, lot, a lot of people did that last week here. Not finish. Mm, okay, uh, but I love uh, the expression on his face. It is good. I, I like the. I like it all overall, dude. I think it's really good, actually. Uh, but hey, everybody, this is Jiminy Cricket's offer. This is Jiminy Cricket coming over here to Elric. Elric, you are not presenting, dude. Elric, present you yourself, there? Elric, with present the weave avatar. Be judged, sir. <clears throat> Elric. Elric. I think we're going to have to skip him for now, Chester, it seems. I do. I think I might have to go check my Twitter for that. So, uh, Booster, why don't you take over as I move over here to Cross? And I'll go find right. and see if he sent it to me. All right. I believe this is Cross's uh, offering. How are you feeling, Cross? Do you feel like you could uh, probably get a few votes today? Oh, a few, for sure. I think a I few? can win that today. Oh, you, uh, you feeling it, boy? Oh, he's feeling yeah, it, guys. I think I'm oh, he's feeling it. Rick for the win. Ross for the mm -hmm. win. All right, mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah, not only not a, did uh... I finish, well, I finished earlier than everybody else. Uh, that's not well, necessarily we'll a good thing. That's not yeah, necessarily Chris, good. that's uh, not something you should brag about. Yeah. Mm. Well, at least I finished. So. Yeah, it's true, but I have to agree with JP4. <laughs> he says he looks Canadian. Exactly. He's supposed to be Hispanic. Mm-hmm. He looks Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> That's never something you want. No, but anyway, this is Cross uh, uh, Cross Comics' offer. Uh, so everybody uh, uh, vote for that if you like it your best. Uh, here is Booster, of course. Pet oh, goodness gracious. Booster. Yeah, how do you – do you like that one, Chester? Is that um, – I shan't that read it. 
<laughs> I shan't read it. I, I think you should uh, just just uh, just quickly. Come on, just yeah, give just, this to me. Uh, no, no, I'm moving on. Hey, Bill. Yeah, hey, dude. Oh, How you doing, God. man? Uh, I'm this doing is Argos good. Creation, Bill, this and uh, he has uh, got a. Oh yeah, we can see it, dude. It's beautiful. It looks really, really good. Oh, nice. Uh, wow. Yes, it is nice, dude. I like it a lot. That is that is Zorro for that sure. Zorro. Is, oh yeah. Uh, very yeah. nice. Very nice. Thank very you. nice. All right, so everybody, this is Bill's offer. So we'll it's go okay. and drop that shuffle. And yeah, if someone wants to buy this, DM me on Twitter at Bill underscore five on Twitter. And there we go. We there could, we go. We All right, cool. Sure. Well, let's have the vote first, uh, shall we, Bill? Because you're saying, you know. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. but over here, and our last offer for today is Adrian. Uh, this is Adrian's piece, and oh, he's got some action lines booster. There's action lines going on. A whoosh. Mm -hmm. Whoosh, yeah. I actually like it, though, yes, man. I think it's nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's very Zorro. I didn't want to sure. draw Zorro, so I guess it's pretty good for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, make sure everybody knows. Uh, but uh, <laughs> good is good. No, actually, uh, it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm not, not gonna lie. I may have uh, broke the uh, vote tie by saying Zorro just so I could draw Puss in Boots. So yeah, uh, you guys are welcome. <laughs> All right, now what I'm going to do is like he never let he mail and do under it again. That's it. All right, now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going. Elric is maybe having some trouble or something, but he did send me a Twitter, so let me put it up here so you guys get a look at it, and I shall share it with everybody. This is his piece. He has this is most certainly Zoro the Game Blade, and he has the Z in the back, of course. So, yay. Go, Zorro. Hooray. Uh, this is Elric's offer. This is Elric's offer. All right, guys. Well, uh, what hey. I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that on mine, uh, but I'm going to do like this instead. And uh, that way, when I speak, his will pop up. Uh, or is it going to let me do that? I should be able to. I hope so. Let's hope so. I'm sure. Oh, God. Right. Let me see. I don't think it will. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, but um, anyway, maybe I can do it like this. Let me try it like this. Let me do it different. Nope. All right, fine. Uh, but anyway, uh, go ahead, Booster. Drop that straw pole, please. I will. I'm going to just drop the crap out of it. <laughs> All right, guys, keep in mind that... Uh, uh, this straw pole is uh, this straw pole is completely free. It costs you nothing. Uh, it, you don't have to sign up or do anything. Just go over there and vote. And uh, if you're on a mobile phone or something like that, after you vote, you can just back backspace your way in here. No big deal, right? Uh, and it looks like uh, Booster actually made some effort today. I, yeah. I did. I did that. Wow. I did do that. I'm good a job. good boy. Well, I don't want to go that far, but you know, I'm the okay. best boy right. in all the land. Yeah, your drawing is getting better. This is like another character from Naruto, right? What you're doing? <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, part in Naruto where um, the Puss in Boots uses the Kaiju uh, Jutsu and uh, hits the uh, frog ninja guy, and he's all like, NANI! And then uh, Naruto's <laughs> like, Why? Puss in Boots, why would you come back to the village? And Puss in Boots is all like, Naruto-chan, you do not know of my ways. You are stupid, me. And uh, <laughs> as, uh, I remember that anime. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I have a question. What is a Naruto? Naruto! It's, uh, it's a pretty popular manga and anime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're talking about Naruto. Oh, Naruto. I see. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I, I did that with a Spanish accent. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I don't know what Booster was saying at all. But, you know. Mm, yeah. okay. A boot mm. for boost, a Booster is a boot for kittens. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's true. Uh, uh, booster is very pro kittens and uh, fluffy cats. Vote Booster. Yes, he yeah. is. And just keep in mind, guys, I'm not white boxing anybody. So if you want to be seen, you got to, uh, uh, you got to uh, speak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you hear uh, me? Please vote for Jimmy we can't hear you, Elric. Huh? Can you hear me? Cross comics. Cross comics. Uh, yo, yo, what cool. about me? Oh, it's nothing. I was cool. just Vote for me. Zoro is a cool character. I had myself because... muted. Remember, uh, vote for Cross. <laughs> so, Rick, why don't you go back to muting yourself? I think it's better. Can yeah. we draw Conan one day? No. 
Well, I actually was thinking I was thinking about suggesting Conan today. I thought yeah. that would be good, but nope. We went with Zorro. I thought Flash Gordon was a good idea. All Zorro, right. Zorro, Can we get a boat for Elric or I will blow up the planet again? <laughs> I <am a> <laughs> Lord <laughs> Frieza, well, if I get a vote, if Eric gets a vote, you will not all die today. At least Eric... more than one. No, oh, Freezer. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, all right, guys, we have uh, 49 people. Here, and we have uh, 22 votes, so uh, we Ooh, want to see a lot of people yes. get in there, vote, get in there, vote. Let all 49 people hour. vote for the yeah, right for, person. Vote more. Definitely vote, vote more. more. Vote often, or else Frieza gives you the death ball. <laughs> so this is—is is this what Frieza sounds like in the English version? No, uh, that's how he that's sounds. No. Sort of like how no. he sounds in the abridged version, almost. Except not really. Uh, Freezer sort of sounds like he can hunt. sound a little bit more like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, he right. more like Lord Sal. Freezer. Come on, everybody. I am he's Lord Freezer, like Freezer. ruler of the known universe. Uh, impersonate <laughs> Freezer when he's dead. Are <laughs> <laughs> you talking about the robot pod or when he gets resurrected twice? No, we mean when he's dead. Uh, when he's not on the show. When you don't even <laughs> see him on the screen. Try that no, one. Guys, talking. I'm sorry, more. but I can't. Freeza is talking, and how dare you filthy infidels even talk about me. Uh, we have a few more minutes, guys. Uh, definitely get in there and vote if you haven't. Please do. Uh, it's an easy thing. Booster's going to put up the straw poll again. He seems to be neglecting his oh, job. Crap. <laughs> and, uh, but there, but we got a couple more minutes left, guys. Make sure to go out and vote. Whatever you and, do, uh, do Mike not vote says, for me uh, because I don't want to go into Pro Edition with my camera messed up. <laughs> Oh, all right. <laughs> you don't need to fix it. Vote, vote for me. Vote, vote for vote Eric. I mean, uh, Lord Freeta says vote for Eric. Because Eric is a different person. <laughs> of course. We say, oh, we say vote for Kraft. Come in. Oh, my God. See, this is what yeah, happens when you let oh. artists actually speak. That's kind of the problem. Um, it's kind uh, of like anarchy, Mike right? Mike from Blacklist Universe, of course. So, uh, he says, uh, when well, you guys are done, right jump now. over to Gary Shipman's stream. That would be a good idea. Yeah, you, Gary Shipman's stream would be great. Oh my god, awesome, artists dude. probably shouldn't control uh. things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, I'm but, Cross, the stunning and the brave. If you haven't yet, uh -huh. you can you can find me on YouTube at Argos Creations, or you can find me here on Fanspeak once in a blue moon. Yep. <laughs> Hard to yeah. believe that no one... None of your business would like to know. Thing. So, Chester, when exactly did you lose control of the stream? Well, as you see, I haven't lost control at all. I'm just letting them have their hair day. He, Yay. Chester's always business. in control. Mm -hmm. he, he knows what's up. I do. Oh, yeah. We've got about a minute left, guys. One minute. Please get over there and vote if you haven't. We've got 31 votes. We'd like to see a little bit more. We do have 45 people in here, but uh, that is a fair percentage. But uh, uh, it's easy thing, Could guys. Just go in there and vote. It could Come be on, so people. much better, you guys. Yeah, trust is a dictator. Get in there, like vote for Cross. Let me to the pros. That, uh, that but the upcoming artist charge. Eric Huga. He does drawing videos right. every day, although he only draws what he likes. But he is very good at it. Well, <laughs> to what his skills are. <laughs> well, I'm good too. I do Monday to Friday. Actually, El uh, Elric actually does funny. that pretty well, didn't he? That's funny. Yeah. Henry. Our, our is very enthusiastic. Oh, quickly, Napa says to vote. Because yeah. if you don't, uh, Don <laughs> Dillard, oh, it's, you don't, not gonna it's, be a, it's a, gonna blow up. It's gonna, gonna blow up. In Tang, with his awesome impersonation, <laughs> I know my body is ready. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness! Oh my God! Yeah. Oh, gonna blow up if you don't vote for Elric. Oh goodness! Do we have drawn quartered cringe edition tonight. We do. <laughs> 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 what are you doing here? I think uh, the decision comes down to which is the best, uh, the most cringiest one, the pro edition or the fan edition, which is the ultra cringe. That would be uh, definitely question. else, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, really? Well, I don't know. Doug Tenable. Because I'm the like, Yeah, Doug, <laughs> Doug Tenable pretty much threw over the top yesterday. So. I'm pretty sure, yeah. yeah. Doug, Doug, he has tainted, literally tainted the pro edition forever. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Not, the brand. not literally, but. I doubt I Doug I will could... ever be allowed again, or at least his drawings will be censored. All right, here we go, guys. What? Ten, nine, eight, seven, 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 hurry. Six, six, five, four, three. Powering up. 
two, one. All right, guys, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to refresh one last time. And uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at 34 votes. All right, that's pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. It's a good percentage of our watchers. And let's see uh, what has happened. Well, unfortunately, down at the bottom, we have <laughs> Mac Absolutely Disaster Crank <laughs> with zero votes. Very, very nice. Uh, very, very nice of you, Mr. Uh, picking on our Norwegian friend. He, uh, he was talking about how his thing was an absolute disaster. I was like, yep, that's the quote. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's true. You get it, yeah, that's what you do. You listen to what they say during the stream, and you take it and make it, uh, mm -hmm. make it their middle piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have a tie, a three-way tie uh, for a fifth place uh, with two votes each. Ooh, did someone say freeway? Yo, wow. Uh, we have trusty yeah. fix that or lose team. sidekick. <laughs> we have Elric. I can't think of a name. I don't care. In, uh, it continues, but it's too long. Booster doesn't realize <laughs> we can't read it. Oh, all. well, somebody else wanted uh, to read. Sweet. And Adrian, quiet boy, Tepes. All of you got two votes. And <laughs> Thanks, Mom and Dad. Lord Freezer's pleased that you voted <laughs> for Elric, whoever did, besides Elric himself. All right, Thanks wonderful. Now we're coming. Now you can be quiet. Now uh, we're coming into fourth place. Fourth place here, and uh, we have vote for Booster. This time I get what? All right, fine. Uh, Lee, we, see this, Pista? I have all these people at the beginning of the show saying, "Ooh, I'm gonna vote for Booster," talking all sorts of crap, and only two other people voted for me, <laughs> and I know one of them is Joshua Hughes. <laughs> Dude, you draw you drew a mangy shaved cat. What do you want? I mean, to be fair, to I be want fair, more have, love, um, Chester. Oh, to be my. fair, you've gone down in uh, in quality booster. All right, here we go, down. guys. Oh, We're coming God. into the bronze medal position, third place with four votes today. We have Cross Stunning and Brave Comics. Ooh, cool. Wonderful, wonderful. A little Yay. bit of clap. Yeah. I want a little bit of yeah. clap for the Rick. Just give me a little bit of clap. A little, little, little clap. Clap. Clap, clap, clap. I said a little. That is enough. All right. Okay, then good. In second place, uh, silver medal. Uh, we have Jimmy, Toxic Masculinity Cricket. <laughs> Yay. Thank, thank Yay. you very much. Comes from Jimmy Cricket. Comes from Jimmy I, don't, Cricket. I don't feel so alone this week for having voted for myself last week. Only well, got one vote, so thank today, you very actually. much for everyone who voted. So four oh, other thank people you. did. Thank you very much. Okay. I liked your minimalist version. You know, maybe I should not. Oh, thanks. Maybe I should it, not. It was mainly minimalist because I didn't finish. All right, here we go. <laughs> and in the gold medal position at first place with 15 votes, 44% of the vote, actually, doing an amazing wow. job. Wow. Going to the pro edition with a guaranteed mm -hmm. seat. We have Bill, forget I was on the show, Hart. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he totally yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. You're on the pro edition. He really stole all my damn votes. Yeah, awesome, guys. You piece of crap. <laughs> so, tall, so tall and manly. Yeah, great. We have uh, uh, thirty-eight votes all together, so that's pretty cool. All right, guys. I mean, well, thank I voted you very much for joining us here today. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but Jordan Quarter always is. You can see this really cool art and just have some fun banter with each other. And uh, of course, go over uh, next week, uh, Wednesday at ten p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Blacklist Universe Channel, which is uh, of course uh, with Mike Miller, and they will have the Pro Edition, and Bill will be sitting there. Go over there and support him and give him all the love of the Fan Edition, please. Uh, of course, I know Bill is going to bring something real tight there. Uh, so, how you feel about your victory today, Bill? Bill, was it uh, was it well worth it? Uh, yeah, man, that was cool. I'm excited. I would, awesome. I drew. I did like four different drawings before I could figure out how to make the guy uh, actually figure out how to draw. Him. Well, but then <laughs> I think I spent like a half won. hour more on the, on the sombrero. There you go. It looks good, though. That's a great job. For sure. Yeah. All right. Let's go down the awesome line here. Work. Let everybody have an opportunity to tell people where they can find you. So let's go over here and start with Adrian. Adrian, do you have some place that people can go and, and find the Adrian and uh, get his participation and what have you? I am now on Twitter at Adrian T 2099 Wonderful. Just remember, Twitter will rot your brain. Okay. Bill, where yeah. can they find you? You can find me... Uh, Argos Creations on YouTube and Argo Creations on Twitter. And you can find me next week on Drawn Quartered. And I'm not just going to tie Mike. I'm going to beat him next week. Well, Ooh. Mike is throwing shade already. He says, looks good, Bill. Kill you next week. Yeah, I saw that. And I <laughs> <was> like, yeah. <laughs> 
Ooh, yeah. Nothing but love from the Miller. <laughs> nothing but love. All right, uh, coming down <laughs> next. Uh, what about you, uh, Booster? Do you are you still trying to get a million subs with no content? Yeah, I'll get around to it. I got sixty three at the moment. It's a bit of a uh, s- slow crawl, but you know, I uh, I'm getting there though. I, I am. I I'm also even back on Twitter. I figured it out. You figured it out. Yeah, so I'm there as Boost the Kiwi now. So there it is. There's a link for you. Have have a link there. There you go. It's true. Uh, Mike is continuing to throw shade, saying that facts don't care about your feelings. Of course, this is a very true statement. Why is he being uh, so rude in our chat? I don't know. It's okay. Uh, we have uh, Rick Cross Comics. Uh, tell him about your channel, dude. Uh, you uh, can find me on Cross Comics. That's my channel here on YouTube, as well as Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Cross mm-hmm. Comics. Uh, also, I'd like to say uh, about the Drawing Blood, the wrestling edition that's going to be yep. tomorrow evening. Uh, mm-hmm. the, I think it's on Testosterone's uh, channel. I believe so. Uh, mm-hmm. At t- I'm, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard mm. Time. I believe uh, Cross Comics, I'm following him, but he's not following me. So that's, you know, that's neat. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, Rick. Uh, all right. Moving down here. Elric, do you have any Twitters or anything like that you'd like to give out to people? Um, yes, I, you, I am Elric Huga. You can find me at Elric Huga on YouTube and on Twitter by the same name and same spelling as of now because I have a proper gooseneck, not this shabby thing right here. Um, I am mm-hmm. drawing videos of anime characters every day, but tomorrow I draw something random that I'm just going to draw. So hopefully you all enjoy that if you decide to oh. show up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, going to miss me uh, uh, tomorrow night, Cheshire. Yeah, dude, I can't because I have responsibilities with the government. But uh, uh, the week, the next week, next week, definitely, dude. I love love wrestling, love talking wrestling. That's really cool. Uh, all right, uh, thank you, Elric. Come over here, Jiminy Cricket. Uh, Jiminy, tell him where he can find you. And uh, I do hope that you've changed that absolutely ridiculous name where we can, no one can remember. Oh, um, sorry, but yeah, it's probably gonna stay. Um, <laughs> you can find me on uh, you can find me on my uh, YouTube channel, um, Illustration by Design, three separate words, and also on Facebook at facebook.com/slash/illustrationbydesign, one word. So, cool. Oh, subscribe You're to on me Twitter? so I can get to 100. I'm sorry. You're on the Twitter? Um, not not really. No. So it's a good idea. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. it's soon. so confusing that uh, that name you have. It's a cool name, but it just doesn't uh, it doesn't stick, man. Yeah, I I, I picked it up uh, about twenty years ago when mm-hmm. when I started uh, working, and uh, it's sort of stuck because all my clients know it. So yeah, can't really change it now. Change it to yeah. illustration by That's illustration true. by boobs. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, Bill. I'll like talk to that. Yeah, just bring that over to Mike's channel. He'll love it. Yeah, uh, Mark, you do that. Moving down. Hello, McCrank. How you doing, man? You got uh, any place for people to contact you yet, or no? No. <laughs> no, well. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nothing. All right, moving yeah, on. I, I don't. I don't post anything or anything. I one day. Well, that's <laughs> okay, dude. That's all right. We're happy to have you, dude. That's fine. Uh, no, uh, Mike is continuing to tell us to go to Gary Stream, and the, he has good reason to do that. Not only is uh, Gary Stream really cool, uh, it's also because Gary is 50 subs away from monetization. Uh, oh, so we definitely oh, like to see Gary get over nice. that. So uh, uh, if you guys can, please do go after the show to Gary Shipment on uh, the internet. If I could have one of my uh, uh, moderators, please drop that link in there. I'm sure it already has been, but drop it again. All right, moving over here to Trusty, Trusty Sidekick. Uh, where can people find you, man? Well, I'm on Twitter at uh, Trusty Sidekick3, uh, Trusty Sidekick on DeviantArt, and uh, don't uh, really have anything on YouTube, but uh, who knows, maybe in the future. And I want to give a shout-out to all my buddies in the Alterna Comics fan group on Twitter. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, I'll turn is great. We love Peter Samedi. All right, guys. Yep. Well, yep. that is it. I'm going to go back over here and white box our winner again to take us out of the show. Uh, but uh, keep I'm in mind, guys, guys, that uh, here on this channel, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, every day we have some kind of content, uh, except for 
the occasional like tomorrow where I have things that have to do, but we will, I will upload a video for that, I think. Uh, but uh, definitely join us and support what we're doing here and support all these guys that are up here uh, uh, drawing for you and uh, all their endeavors. And please don't forget that uh, uh, not only go over to Gary Shipman and help him out so we can get that thousand, which would be great. Uh, don't forget to miss, uh, uh, don't miss next week on Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Black List Universe uh, will be the Pro Edition. Go over there and support Bill and support all that absolutely amazing art that's going to be going on. So beyond that, Booster, you have anything cool to say? That's what Drugs I Drugs are the devil. And um, pay your bills on time. Thank you, Mama. Very useful. <laughs> don't smoke, kids. <laughs> don't, don't, smoke. don't smoke. Yeah, don't smoke, kids. That's weird. It is weird. Oh, oh, I'm be happy. I'm All right, be guys. Happy now. I'm now following him on, on Twitter. <laughs> I there bullied him into it. That's how I do it. All right, guys. Thank you very much, and we will see you next time. So uh, enjoy your evening. Have good sleeps, and please do not dream a booster. It will bring you nightmares. Later. 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 Have a good night. See you on the other side.